Oh, goodness, look at that. Why, good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It seemed that this, the game was having a little bit of a hiccup there for a moment, but that's what you get for emulating a classic, I guess. That's my karma that's kicking in right now. I think we last saw ourselves, oh, like three weeks ago, there was a graduation that happened. It's been a hot minute since then. We definitely killed Hooktail. She is dead. And we're definitely sure that none of her future family are going to try and haunt us down for that. We're in Bogley Woods now. We found a little guy. His name's Puny, I think. We've got Coops. He's doing things. And, um, uh, look at these guys. <laughs> it's time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what you've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. Find that Mario guy and steal that map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? <laughs> no, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm. Now what's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, 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 what, you mean this? I found it in that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. It's beautiful, and it's made of gold pearls, which you don't find very often. <laughs> Vivian, for shame, picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting, greedy, you greedy little munchkin there, aren't you? You are a terrible, terrible sister. But even enough, enough about that, Vivian, my dear Packerat, I'm going to continue insulting you for the duration of this journey. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. <laughs> yep. Um. What? I. <laughs> you don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I have that thing. You're you're in charge of it. You wretched little worm, blaming me for something you probably screwed up yourself. But but I I. <laughs> Look at those guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later! No, no. Uh, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. The mustachioed man that's certainly not standing literally right over there. But listen, I, I look, it's not my fault. I never had a sketch. Silence, you dits! I slap you for that! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force! So I'll hit you again! Or I'll just take your belongings. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, mm, so sorry. And another hit across the face! Ow! No, not really. We wouldn't condone violence in a Mario game. Not like that. But, but Beldum... Oh, you're horrid! What if I just walk around them? If I'm careful, they'll never know I was here. If I sneak very carefully. That or I can just go right up and talk to them. Hi there. <laughs> Sniffling. What am I to do? <laughs> what is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Scram. Right now. I have no business with you. Listen, dude, I just wanted to give you the good word of the cricket, but, um, apparently that's not very appreciated around here. I hit all these trees. Don't mind me. Just gonna walk past you just hit all these trees. Nobody really cares. Hi there. What's up? Whack. No, I struck first. You're damn right that I struck first. Otherwise, that wouldn't be very advantageous for me. Power hit. Power hit. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> you got hit by the falling stage light, too, but it's not enough. It'll never be enough. Coops! Why don't you take the first... Why don't you take the first one? Go ahead. I believe in you. And he's stylish with it, too. Nice. And, uh, yeah, you you look like a power smashy kind of fellow. Right? 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 Excellent. Also excellent. And he didn't even get a chance to use that big old rock of his. Wonderful. Despite the fact that... An individual's body was indeed all rock. Dare I say, boulder-like. Very boulder-like. Hi there. I don't like you either. 
It sounds like these that I have to wonder about the physiology and I guess the physiology would be the right term of like the inner workings of the different Mario creatures that are out there. Like, have you ever seen the, um, it's like the Poke Anatomy book? It's like somebody decided to take the time to make like an anatomically correct like x-rays of Pokemon and stuff. It's really cool looking. I think it's called Poke Anatomy. If, if I'm correct in saying, which oftentimes I am not, so somebody's gonna have to fact check me on that. But it's really cool looking. It's a little grotesque, because you see, like, the internal, like, organs of, like, a Pokemon, which I guess not many people are... I, I don't know... I don't know what the majority of people are into. I, for one, am very into, like, anatomically correct things. It's cool to see, like, the inner workings of a biological creature. Sounds like that is cool. One is a, Oh, no, no, I want that. Do I want that, though? Honey syrup? No, I can buy that at a store. I don't need that. I threw away the honey syrup. Who needs it? I don't need it. Hi there. Yeah, you just gotta keep whacking your hammer. That's how you get these piranha guys out of the way. Oh, hi there. There are many of you. Mm. And I know I can't jump on you, because if I did, you'd you'd hurt me. And that would be sad. I could use the quake. You the quake? Earth Tremor! That's what I'll do. I'll pop them all up off the ground. They're gonna be like, they're not even gonna know what hit them. This is like a rhythm-based thing, and I've always been good at rhythm-based things. At least I say that. Maybe that's why I'm like... I would say that I'm good at platformers, but I'd probably be lying. There are some platformers that I'm absolutely god-awful at. And I'm sure if I would... I should definitely play like a rhythm game sometime. I think the, the last like rhythm-based thing that I ever did was the guitar solos in a game called Night in the Woods, and I sucked at those. I was really, really bad at those. I thought I was pretty good at Guitar Hero when I played that as a kid, but I mostly did like, um, I think it was, it was Band Hero that was the one where you could actually sing into the microphone. And to be perfectly honest, I think I managed to game the system. You didn't have to be on pitch in order to do well in Band Hero as the singer. You just had to like, make sounds at the right time. It didn't even have to be the correct sound. To be honest, I don't think like, natural language processing was a very advanced thing back in those days, so whether you were correct was irrelevant. Same thing with, like... Actually, I wonder how the N64 did it with Hey You Pikachu. Hmm. Maybe it did have some sort of recognition there. In any case... There! Can you see it? That big tree! Big boggly tree in the background. That's what I was telling you about! That's where we punies live! That's home! Uh, of course... It's not just us in the tree. Lots of gabbies and piders, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Into the hole. But you have to go through the other hole. But what's over here first? Aha, an in coupon. I have no use for this. Swaps your... Pro I don't need this point swap. I, I don't think that's necessary. Can I just continue? Can I just walk along? I don't need you. I want a save point. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, actually, I'll come back later. I remember in that direction. I think that's where Madame Fleury lives. And uh, I'm not quite ready to see her yet. More coin? One coin. Nice. Excellent coin. Beautiful coin. Everybody need more coin. For those who may be interested, tonight's cocktail was one from a Disney book that I had found in our collection. It's called the Banana Spice Rum Martini. And if you can guess, it uses banana liqueur, spice rum, and uh, martini. Which in this case is taken up by, um, some orchata cream liqueur. It's nice and cinnamony. It's very nice. And we tried a couple different combinations. One with spiced rum, one with falernum, and one with, um, pineapple coconut rum. The pineapple coconut one was weird. The spiced rum one was okay. The falernum? On point. Ah! Oh no, no! What's the matter? No, oh, well... Take a look! This door wasn't here before, so I just installed it! And... I can't open it! I thought I could finally save everyone! I'm a fool! Damn me, I'm a fool! Stupid, stupid, puny! Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? In internal computation processing continuing. Processes the inputs around me. Oh, uh, I gotta go phone a friend. Was the simple answer here. 
We have to go see Madame Flurry. That's what comes next. If I recall. Maybe. She's the big busty cloud lady. <laughs> That's what I remember her as. The purple busty cloud lady. I don't think when I first played this game that I really had an idea of like what was supposed to be like normal or PC in a video game. And I was just like, wow, cool, a talking cloud. And that's where my mind, that's where my mentality stopped at the young age. Whatever that young age was, I don't quite recall, but it's irrelevant. I wish I had a powerful hammer and a more powerful hammer. Let's get you with the power smash. It's the easy thing to do. I also don't have the, um, I think there's a certain boot upgrade that I could use too, but um, I don't got it. Mm, do I do I want to let you do that? I don't actually want to let you use that thing. Oh, I made a boo-boo. Now you're going to use it, right? No, you're just going to electrify yourself. That's fine. I can just hit you with my hammer instead. As we know, wooden mallets are not conductive. Unless you apply a high enough voltage, in which case anything's conductive. Just try shocking something with lightning. Once upon a time, in a far-off place called Drexel, where I got my alma mater, where I earned my degree, I was cons I was having a conversation with a friend of mine about what we should do for our senior design project. Now, what I wound up doing, oh shit, whoops. What I wound up doing was something, was some research into what they call neuromorphic computing, where essentially you program ASICs or very specific integrated circuits to actually implement certain machine learning functions and logic gates. Uh, in the form of logic gates and other algorithms and stuff. That's what we wound up doing. But I, when I chatted with my friend about, a different friend about what we could be doing for our, um, for our senior design project, we actually considered doing a project about harnessing the power of lightning, which at the time when I was looking at it, when I was doing some re like initial research on it, there wasn't a lot out there about how to like really properly like harness lightning. You could like divert lightning, but you, there wasn't really anything to like harness the power of it. To be perfectly honest, I'm sure times have changed since then, and it really only was five years ago, so I probably just wasn't looking at the correct sources. But I mean, it doesn't seem that out there to like lightning rods are a thing, right? Lightning rods, if I'm correct in saying, only divert electricity. They don't actually use it for powering buildings and stuff. Although, is it that far fetched to think that somebody out there might have gotten to a point where they can harness that power? I don't know. Uh, let's appeal to the audience. I really can't hit that guy right now, so. But so we play with the idea of, oh, I can't dodge that. We play with the idea of harnessing the power of lightning. I was an electrical engineer. I think he was a chemical engineer at the time. So the idea of exactly how we were going to do, I had literally no knowledge on it. I work very, very little with high voltage things. I work with very low voltage things. I work with microcontrollers. I program them and I add tiny connections and tiny signal lines. I don't do anything over like, 10 volts at a time, unless we're working with a motor. In which case, maybe a 12 volt battery will do, or nine volt battery will do. Uh, but beyond that, I don't really do much with high voltage um, stuff. There we go, get on in there. You got it, you got it. Go get him, Mario. And maybe there's more that I can find? I don't remember if there was like a secret passageway in here at all. If there was one, I never knew about it. This is the way to go though. This is the way to go. But yeah, like, could you imagine? Like, I think it was a thing in Stardew Valley, right? where you could, um... Oh, look at that. In Stardew Valley, I think you can build lightning rods that would allow you to, um, to, like... What do you get from that? I don't remember what you get from lightning rods. You get something from lightning rods. I don't think you power... Oh, no, 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 I think you get, can get batteries, right? Can you get batteries from lightning rods in Stardew Valley? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played Stardew Valley, and at some point in time, I kind of want to go back to it. Like, I finished off Graveyard Keeper, which was a very morbid Stardew Valley equivalent, and I would- Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Not yet. I want to send my coops this way. Get that shine sprite. Yeah, get that shine there, buddy. But, um, I kind of want another farm-based thing. I kind of want another, like, casual farm-based game to play. Stardew Valley is obviously the go-to. Uh, Gra Graveyard Keeper was like, uh, was suggested to me. No! That's fine. Is that the Quake Hammer? Can I equip that now? Let's see. I cannot. I need more BP. So my next level up, I think it should be on BP. If I can like totally fill up on BP, I think that'll be good. That'll be very, very advantageous for all involved. All involved being myself. And I just noticed I didn't need to go there. Hmm. Um... Yeah, so I was trying to think about, like, what other, like, farming-based games to play out there. I know, when I was younger, 
I used to go to a friend's house of mine, and I think they had, they just had different GameCube games than I did. None of them were, like, games that, I don't know, there was, there was a missing mentality when I was younger with the thought that I could just go to the store and buy games. Like, if I wanted a game, I could have just asked my parents to go buy it for me, or I could have taken some money and went to go buy the game myself. I, like, there must have been some cognitive disconnect for me in those times because I didn't have a lot of the games that I really wish I could have played as a kid. And it's mostly because I just didn't go out and get them. Like, I've always wanted to play, I think when I was younger, I always wanted to play the Harvest Moon games because they just look, they look casual. I was really into the idea of a game where you farmed. Because I was like, oh, I love the idea of farming something in real life. That could be so cool. And I never actually quite got the opportunity to make a garden when I was younger. Um, I have, like, plants and whatnot now. It doesn't really feel the same, like, you know, doesn't scratch the same itch, so to speak. Um, but at some point in my life, I plan to have a garden. And, like, if I were a little more, if I were a little more, I guess, vocal in my community, there is a garden, like, right a couple blocks away from where I live. And I bet if I asked the right people, I'd be able to plant in that garden. Um, but, like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of time to spend on a whole garden. I'd rather it be right outside, but, um, it will not be. Uh, I can't do anything for you. So, we'll appeal. Hi, everybody. Appeal to the crowd. Don't do it. Okay, he did it. Well, he did it. I'm trying to think what I would grow in my garden. If I were to grow anything in my garden, honestly, fruits and vegetables. That sounds awesome. You know, when I was younger, I remember I actually tried to plant an apple tree once. I took a couple of seeds, I put them in the backyard, I buried them, and I would go out there every single day, and I would water my I would water my apple tree. And then uh, I think my father accidentally ran it over with the lawnmower because I, I, to be fair, I did not clearly mark where it was in the ground. So when I went back the one day and it was gone, I was like, oh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> it was very disappointing. Um, since then, I've attempted to grow things a couple more times in my life. I attempted to grow orange trees, which I did. Ooh, a Voltrum. Let's get a mushroom out of there. I mostly have these different ingredients. I have all of these items here because I want to use them as ingredients for Zesty's Kitchen, which I loved. One of my favorite parts about this game was to be able to combine things together. I like, I, I, I'm a sucker for games with crafting mechanics. If you can craft it a game, I'll probably like it. That or I'll, I'll eventually find some nuance about the crafting system that pisses me off to no end and I will hate the game. Um, but I can't think of any games like that off the top of my head. Graveyard Keeper was a little difficult to get used to, but overall it wasn't. Wasn't, wasn't impossible. You just kind of had to know what you were doing. Let's save this game in case it crashes. It would be a shame if everything crashed now. All right, Flurry, where you at? Where you at, girl? It will not budge. I don't know who's saying that. Hey, I don't think anyone's home. It's too quiet. Maybe we should take off. It won't budge. I think we should go. I don't know who said that. Maybe it was Coops? But his mouth wasn't moving. I'll save again. I think that was a trigger for something. I walk outside and shit happens. Yes. Maybe I should have healed myself up. Are the Shira Sirens gonna come and say hello to me? Maybe, maybe. One never knows. Let's go find out. Trying to remember where I left off the conversation. What did I say? I was talking about games with crafting mechanics. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, I like... I like games with crafting. Minecraft was a huge hit for me when I first played it back in high school, I think it was. Actually, it might have been middle school. It was either high school or middle school. In middle school, I definitely remember having a conversation with somebody about Minecraft. And I remember looking up Minecraft and finding this really rudimentary website where you could walk around you could find creepers and you could find trees and it was like it was one of those like mm, i don't know what you call them but it was almost top down looking in a way it wasn't the minecraft that we know today it wasn't the 3d you know 3d procedurally generated game thing um that we know today it was something else and it might have been like i don't i don't remember whether it was like it might have been like a fake a fake version of minecraft for all i know and that was probably enough, right? Yeah. I don't know. But I remember playing this, like, online thing, and I was like, oh, well, this Minecraft isn't very fun. I'm not that into it. And then, subsequently, a couple years later, when, like, the alpha build came out, which I think came out the day before my birthday, if I'm thinking correctly, uh, I had a blast. 
I loved it. The whole... That was, like, my first crafting game. The first game that I ever played where you could, like, go around, you could harvest things, and you could build them into other stuff that allowed you to progress further. I loved things like that. And, uh, to this day, Minecraft is one of my comfort games. I really, really, really like playing Minecraft. Mostly... Mostly modded Minecraft. There's a particular Minecraft pack that I play on and probably haven't not played on. I have not stopped playing on this since, like... Oh my gosh. I must have started it early college. So, like, six years ago, maybe? Originally, it was, um... Originally, it was me playing with, um... One buddy of mine. But then I stopped on one mod pack. Then I switched mod packs because I wanted to play it again. I wanted to play more of it. But I didn't have anybody to play it with, so I decided to play on my own. Um, what else happened afterwards? I don't really, I don't really know. Then I started playing it again with another friend of mine, and um, she and I every once in a while go and play Minecraft. But it's mostly just me on my own these days. Everybody's too busy. Everybody's too busy to play with me. Of the games that I want to play, that is, which is Minecraft and Cookie Clicker. I've been playing a lot of Cookie Clicker recently. I love Cookie Clicker. I actually, my goal is to be able to get all of the, um, all of the feasible Steam achievements on the Steam version. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I am tiny. My attack power has decreased. That's interesting. That's cool. If I shell toss you, are you going to take any damage? Well, okay, that clearly didn't work because I missed the mark there. But if I've used my power hammer on you, will you die? Oh my god. I just noticed that Mario's got a tiny little... Like, tiny little voice. That is so cute. I have never noticed that in these playthroughs, ever. Where in Mario's voice actually gets a little bit tiny. I did notice that. I think that does happen when you do it in, like, the, um, the Mario platformer games. Like, uh, Super... What was that game for the for the DS? New Super Mario Brothers. I think they... Uh, my, one of my favorites was the tiny shroom in that one. Alright, well, there was no one home that way. Maybe I gotta go back this way? Hey there. And I'm gonna walk past if you don't mind. If you don't... I guess you do mind. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Power shell. Kill all of them. Kill absolutely everybody. Oh, but not everybody's dead yet. Alright, well. Uh, hammer time. Yeah, and it's stylish. I can probably use my sweet treat now. Counter! Nope, just kidding. Can we counter this guy? Nope, I couldn't counter that guy either. Oh, wow, well, I just suck at countering today. Oh, well. Uh, mmm. -hmm. Can't do my power toss either. Let's... Let's treat ourselves right. Treat ourselves right with a little bit of sweet treat. A lot of, a lot of good goods. Health. Everything else. My least favorite part about the sweet treat is when you hit one of those, um... One of the bad mushrooms off screen where you can't see them yet. If you throw haphazard haphazardly into the rafters, you may be in for a rude awakening. It is very possible. Well, that was good. Alright, well, now we can do that again. And, um... Honestly, I could, I could do with, um, conserving some, um... Conserving. Conserving some flower points. Conserving some energy. Nope, that was terrible. Oh, Koops has higher defense. I forgot about that. Nope. Sorry, Mario. Gonna have to stick it out on this one. Um, I'm gonna do the sweet shoot again. I have a feeling there might be an incoming boss battle. So we'll see how that pans out for me. Maybe. Now it seems that the stream has gone dead for just a moment. Apologies for those who are waiting on the other side. But the VOD is okay. I promise. The bot VOD will be beautiful. It'll be perfect. Perfect in every single way. Well, not really. Honestly, they have a, we have quality drops. Eventually, when I have all the money in the world, I plan on getting some upgrades for this computer that'll hopefully make things much more smooth. Professional streamer? No. Do I do that as a very, very happy hobby? Absolutely. Couldn't counter that one either. I really suck at countering for these piranha plants. Wow. I really suck. But at least I can admit it, unlike most people. I feel like if you were to ask a random person on the street if they suck, then if they have like self-esteem issues. Actually, no. Let's not. Let's not worry about. It. Let's not. Oh, shit. Nice. Let's not worry about self-esteem issues. Y'all don't suck. 
Maybe you suck at certain things, but that's okay to suck at things. Honestly, we all have to suck at something. Otherwise, there'd be no contrast to compare ourselves to the things that we are really, really good at. For example, I, um, hmm, what do I suck at doing? I suck at cooking. <laughs> but I'm really great at embroidering, I think. I think I'm pretty good at entertaining. You know, my coworkers today said I could be an entertainer. And I was like, well, I kind of already am. And they were like, oh yeah. You gotta remember. I do this thing weekly now. It's great. Speaking of the things that I do weekly, I am so, so looking forward. I feel like I can't talk about it enough. But I am really, really looking forward to the new apartment that Anne and I are moving into. Because we're gonna have a ton more space. To be able to, like, spread out. And not have, like, close quarters like we used to. To be honest, it's not much an issue. I, I don't think... It is kind of an issue. I was gonna say, it's not much an issue for Anna. She makes uh, use of the space very, very well. But it is kind of a... It's a bit of a hindrance. Oftentimes, so if you were to have a view of my apartment right now, you will find a floor that's rather messy, countertops that are filled up with stuff that probably doesn't need to be on countertops. Um, they could be in cabinets, but we don't have enough cabinet space. They could be on shelves, but we don't have enough shelves. It's, um, it's rather unfortunate. But that is the, that is the cards. Those are the cards that we have been dealt. And so until we move into the new apartment, which is like, oh my god, it's like twice as much space as the one that we're currently in now. I'm already envisioning, like, where the stream set is, is gonna be. And it's probably gonna take a while to set up. Like, I'm, I, I don't exactly know how I'm going to set things up yet. And it might take me a week or so to figure things out. So, like, there may be, like, a week span or something where we might skip the playthroughs, potentially. Oh, you guys have nothing, do you? Alrighty then. Well, that's fine. Wait a minute, what was I supposed to do? I saw Punio run around. What was I supposed to do again? I may have missed something. I don't need to talk to you guys again, do I? This might have been a blocking point maybe for me. Or maybe I have to go all the way back to the beginning. And then come back this way. I don't know. Talk to you? What is it? Leave us be. Alright. That's fine. Maybe if I go all the way back here. Punio's out here. Either way, I'll save. That's probably a good idea. I do not remember which direction Punio went. I thought... Maybe I'm just silly. I'm gonna go back to the... I'm gonna go back to the flurry place again. See if I was missing something there. Punio definitely did run out. And run around... Run... Out of the area. Though exactly where, I'm not sure. Maybe if I, um... Actually, isn't there a thing that I can do? Might as well not, like, run around like, um... Like I'm silly or something. I can use the mailbox SP. No. I can use the phone, right? Is that what I can do? I know I can call somebody else. Right? I thought that was a thing I could do. Oh, no, 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 no. I can sw swap partners. Oh, that's what I can do. Um, party. Go to party. Swap partners. Goombella. Goombella can tell me what I need to do. These are the Bogley... These are the Bogley Woods. Kind of a dreamily pretty place, isn't it? It'd be nicer if we weren't crawling with enemies, but what you gonna do? Oh, you didn't tell me much. Well, I guess you can use me- you can- you can help me tattle on the enemies. Oh, here's a thing over here. That's back to the Bogley tree. It apparently wasn't the Bogley tree. I'll go back over to our Madame Fleury and see- no, into the- No! What the- mm. You sadden me. You make me sad with your horned face and literally everything. Let's tattle. We might as well. We might as well tattle while we got you here. Cha-ching, baby. It's a cleft. That's a cleft. A rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker! Max HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 2. That hard hit is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective, usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. Kind of want to run. I can't use my regular attack, can I? Oh, excellent. Excellent shot there, Goombella. We're very proud of you for doing that. And now I can't do anything except hit you with my hammer. Hit you with the power hammer now. Bap. Bapping and whapping all day. Love it when you're so good at a game and the stage starts falling around you. you gotta love that. Alright. Get your coin. Get your coin into the pipe. Into the pipus. The peepus. 
and see if I was missing something over here. I didn't think I was, but uh, alas. Honestly, I would not be surprised if I was missing something. I am usually... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can go back the other direction, can't I? Oh. Shucks. Bounce, bounce. Nice. Well, now you're dead. Well, actually, I can bounce on you, too. That's advantageous. And I can also tattle you, too. Might as well. Being that we have them here. You are the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Dark Puff. Close enough. That's a Dark Puff. It's basically a tiny, mean Thunderhead. Max HP is 3, 2, 0. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does, or you'll die. Youch. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. Or die. Or become small. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Oh. That's okay. A single jump will do. Okay. Not a single jump will do. That's fine. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't want to deal with these guys. I just want to find the flurry lady. Where the flurry lady at? Okay, so I couldn't talk to you in the house. I'll heal myself. I have the extra coin. So it told me to leave. So I left. What was I supposed to do here? Oh, maybe I was supposed to knock on the door. Maybe I was supposed to hammer on the door. I don't know. Honestly, I can't quite recall. Maybe I was supposed to... Let's give it a try and see what we can find. Hammer on the door? Maybe? All right, I'm back. Hammer on the door. Hammer on the door. Hello? Anybody in there? It won't budge. Call me crazy. But I think this is, place is totally deserted. Should we go back or what? I, I don't think we should. Do we have to? Oh man, I forgot what I needed to do. All right, well. No, that can't be it. I'm gonna change my badges around so I don't have the attack effects on there. What if I just bounce around a bunch? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Do I look in the mirror? Can I, like, skirt through a door? Maybe? If I stand here long enough, will it seem like I've gone away completely? What if I... A totally nice house. Super coordination between the red walls and furniture. I'm so jealous. It's not even funny. I have, like, no sense of interior decoration. Um. Coops? Do you have... Do you have anything for me? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Boggly Woods tree. Maybe there was something else in there. I know there's a secret exit. I know that for a fact, but I don't think you can access it unless... Right? Oh, you know what? That was it. I think I think the I think Punio is at the top of the tree where the secret exit is. The secret entrance. I think that might be what I'm missing here. We'll um let's put that to the test. Oh I didn't want to. Hey, what's going on, Vio? How you doing? I am struggling with attempting to make progress in this video game because I've completely forgotten what to do. And as usual, I've gotten myself stuck in my own tangents to the point where I've become completely distracted from whatever was going on on the screen. Doing alright? That's pretty good. How am I doing? It's been it's been hectic this past couple weeks, I think. Uh, and it doesn't seem like it's going to get any better. But alas, we have things to cope with it. I um, Let's see, what have I done recently that's really good? I managed to fi finish the embroidery I was doing the other day. It's finally done. Uh, it took me like, oh my god, it took me like hours to get those things done. Multiple days per each one. But they're finished, and they look great. And I think we put a post on the cosplay Instagram recently with the final pictures of them all. I don't have them over here. Otherwise, I put them on camera. Anna's got them over in her sewing area for her to... She'll mess around with it when she gets the next opportunity. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Still can't announce too much details of exactly what it's for, but we will be able to soon, I think. More details to come. I'll be vocal about it when I can. Oh. Oh, Anna just threw them at me. Yeah, they're finished. I finished them. I got two of them now. It's great. They're totally done. Little crest that she can put on a um, on a blazer. Two blazers. They're supposed to look exactly the same. I also have some other cosplay stuff that I'm gonna embroider as well. I've kind of I've kind of fallen in love with this whole embroidery thing. I'm a big fan of it. 
Hey, Puny, I, I knew you'd be up there, but I wasn't looking with my eyes. Long, long ago, the Puny Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Um, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Uh, not to be a worry wart, but how the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing the normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Um. Oh, I got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us! Flurry's a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, I want her to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Okay. That was my mistake. My mistake was leaving the tree before taking the little dude with me. But that's okay. It's definitely not the first time that I've made that mistake, too. I distinctly remember myself also having problems with that. When I played it originally. Oh. I forgot to read the text. <clears throat> Building a house here was just the finest idea of did have it did have. Oh my, yes. Yes, indeed. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little peonies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here it's too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of acceleration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me! Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Or you were born to be a secondary character in a video game. Tee <laughs> not pointing any fingers or anything. It's settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup, make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. Hold for a moment. No! It's gone! I tell you, my, 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 my. Find out next time on... The Bogley Woods, I guess. It's the necklace. She's missing the necklace. Spoiler alert, it's the necklace. And who knew who's got the necklace? The Shadow Sirens do. If we head straight in that this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. I'm sure we will. And I'm very glad that you've directed me to go this way, despite the fact that I've been in this exact location three times over. But on the bright side, I've kind of got, um... I've got a little bit of foreknowledge now. I figured things out. <laughs> I'm glad at least that it, I connected the dots that I needed to talk to Punio up at the top of the tree. Otherwise, we very well could have been here for... I wouldn't say much longer, but it would have been a hot minute more. Hi there. Hi there. No, I don't want it. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I want to fight more powerful Glenemies. Look! They're in the distance! That's what I was telling you about Flurry's place. That's Flurry's place. You can tell, because it's... It doesn't actually say flurry on it, but we did see a flurriful looking creature on the inside of the house. Or rather, we had a, trans a scene transition from this whole landscape here to the inside of the house that we were just in. So you can only assume it's Flurry's house, dude. Knock, knock, anybody home? Uh, excuse me. Um... Maybe she's in here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Or she is still here and she just won't come out without her necklace. Which is exactly what's the case. She will not come out without her necklace. Madam Flurry! Hello! If you're here, say something! Or I'll knock your house down! Just kidding. I won't do that. That'd be mean. Eek! No! Out of the question! I You mustn't come in here! Do not come in here! Oh, okay. Well. Um, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? 
Oh, wait a moment. Those darling little squishy footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last, you poor dear. Is there something you need? Oh, uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, man. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs these crystal stars? It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret answers for us, we're pretty much done for. <laughs> totally screwed. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? You could have just called me on my cellular phone, which I clearly don't have. My adorable little beauty -o. you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Geez, something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out with my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I walked. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. So I shan't be going out. The paparazzi will catch wind of me. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty. That's that. So I'm not coming out. Won't help you. You're done for. Sorry. Gee whiz, that must be some kind of nice necklace, huh? Uh, hang on. You know what? It's weird. I, I'm sorry I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, sounds like you're a turtle man. You have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. Pretty please. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend Punio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can help find your necklace. Word is, he's super. Super Mario. You can do it, right, Mario? Nah. Huh? Did you just say nah? Uh, what's wrong with you? Let's go find our necklace. <laughs> Stupid bitch. I'm so sorry to trouble you so. By the way, is that Super Mario I hear? I heard Super Mario is a really excellent individual. How dare you call him a bitch? That's so disrespectful. Saving. Let's move along. Now it's time to fight the Shadow Sirens. Beat their asses with a well-placed slap. Beldum, I told you, blaming me for losing the sketch, and you had it! Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details! We must study this sketch! <laughs> this is Mario! Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly! Check out that bushy mustache, how handsome! You know something, though, my lovelies, I swear I've seen this gentleman before! He's Mr. Mustache. Ka, ka, ha, ha. Ah, I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without, without a doubt, all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. Get ready, my dearest. What? That's that's not fair. You're the one who had the silence, you squirrel brain. I'll get you, just like that. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. <laughs> this is not fair! And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! No necklace for you. You're not allowed to be pretty anymore. I will be the pretty one. The pretty elderly one. I'm pretty because of my experience and time on this earth. Aww. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Uh huh. Go? Meanwhile, Mario and friends are trying to figure out where the heck this necklace is. Because for some reason, a wind spirit cares about her appearance. Which, to be fair, that's a fair thing to do. It's, it's fair to care about your appearance. I care about my appearance. That's why I religiously manicure myself. Obviously. As you can clearly see. Um, what's my gear like? I'm on full health, it looks like. Sort of almost full health. <laughs> Let's beat this guy up. Got you! Silly little cloud creature. <laughs> Excuse me. The cocktails are getting to me, naturally. I actually have three of them here. Uh, for those who didn't tune into the cocktail segment of things, I actually made three cocktails today. There are three different versions of the same recipe because, honestly, I think we could use it with a little more recipes around here. 
at some point on my list of things that I want to do in preparation for the move, actually, is I need to I need to refigure out some scheduling stuff. Eventually, the plan is I, I think in uh, it might change a little bit. Um, while we wait, oh, ouch, rock. It might change a little bit, so I'm not exactly sure. But the idea the idea that I have right now is. Instead of splitting Wednesday streams into game and cocktail, Wednesday streams will be just cocktail. Um, in addition to that, f Monday streams will become full-length streams where we do, like, the playthroughs and whatnot. Not necessarily the main playthrough every other week or every single week or so, because I kind of want to diversify the games that I play a little bit more and not just keep with the main playthroughs. The main playthroughs will obviously come up after a while and will stop after we complete the playthrough. But in the in between, like, there's other games that I just want to play. For example, the other day, and, and when I think about it, I think back to the original reason that I started streaming, and it was to be able to play video games. I just needed, I needed to give myself a reason to play video games again, because I hadn't done so in so many, so many years consistently. And this has been the perfect excuse to do so. And the reason we continue is, one, because it's fun, and two, because y'all are awesome people. I haven't met anybody, I think, I haven't met anybody here on this platform so far that's like, outwardly like just kind of rude aside from the one person who popped on and had some really weird comment from reddit it was like oh you're the guy on reddit who had sex with animals and i was like that's really weird and honestly that was as bad as it got it really wasn't that bad i'd consider myself lucky so far and i don't want to draw attention to myself by saying so but um it's been life's been good to me so far for the most part in terms of the streaming stuff but then again and again, things are happening more and more these days, so one never knows when things might change. Honestly, it could happen any day now. It could happen right now for all we know. Who knows? Um, in any case, let's not manifest that dark energy. Let's manifest goodness. Goodness, happiness, and all around good feelings. This is a safe space for anybody who's involved. And so, hopefully, that, hopefully it feels that way. And if it's not, then it's okay. You aren't allowed to move. I'm not allowed to move anymore. No more moving. I cannot move. Technically, technically speaking, I am still going to move nonetheless. Actually, it depends on what you mean by move. When you say move, do you mean move as in vacate my premises here and move to another pre uh, premises? Or do you mean move as in like freeze frame? Because if I have to freeze frame like this very long, I will no longer be able to talk. I cannot play the video game. And I guess we're just gonna have to end things now. But it all depends, honestly. Either way, I think we're going to continue on moving. Now, then we come to the concept of being allowed to move. Technically, if I'm not allowed to move, there is some central source of... There is some central source of power that has... That is higher up on the hierarchy of life than I am that determines that I am not allowed to move. And honestly, I don't know who that is. The government can't tell me that I can't move. I can move if I want to. People in general can't tell me not to move. And to be fair, if I didn't move, going back to the whole vacation of premises thing, it'd be hard to do so, because kind of already signed the lease. But not to worry. I won't be going very far anyways. I think I'm just moving up the street. Just a slightly bigger apartment is all there is. So I won't be gone. No goneness, no changes here. It'll just be a little bit of time of attempting to figure shit out. I know, like, on my list of things that I have to... I, it's, what I have to figure out is I need to determine how to, um... How to move everything in a manner where it doesn't necessarily block up stream schedule. So the idea that I have is... I think what'll wind up happening is... My desk is gonna stick around here for a little bit. My computer is gonna move with me. Definitely. I can set up my computer pretty much anywhere. There is shelf space that I can put the computer on, and I can stream from my kitchen for a little while. Who cares? Set up my monitor here, monitor there, take a little bit. It'll be easy. The desk will come a little bit later. We'll figure it out as time's come. You're way too burr to freeze frame. I, wait, you're saying I'm way too burr to freeze frame? As in, I'm way too cold to freeze frame? I'm too cold to freeze? What am I like... What's a, what's a what's a tighter Bose Einstein condensate? I think Bose Einstein condensates are colder than solids, colder than ice, yo, bro. Well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Cause we're waiting for you, mustachioed man. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. But I remember. I remember. They're the ones with. Hey, wait a second. 
What, what do you mean? You've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. Sorry. And so, I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. I don't know about the map. The, how, how do you know about the map of the crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Do you know the princess? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyways? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three... Shadow Beauties. The three Shadow Beauties. Vivian, you nincompoop! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! Like, wee-oo, 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 wee-oo! I don't see three beauties, I see two, but then there's you, and you are plug ugly, downright fugly, you stupid little shadow girl! Come over here! Put you in your place! Oh, Alright, sis, I'm sorry, it's just you always call us lovelies and like... It's just a figure of speech! Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way! Oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends, who's gonna beat you into submission. There's a bunch of beating here. You're damn right there is. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no beating here. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly Marion, Vivian. And the might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Aggro tonight? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Gah! Battle begins. As in, I have too much energy, says the Morbid Llama. I am not allowed to relocate. I am a very I am a very energyful person. Therefore, if I was a state of matter, I don't think that I would be a solid at all. I think I'm liquid. I'm definitely a fluid. Don't know whether I'm a liquid or a, or a gas, but I'm definitely one of the two. And I'm not allowed to relocate. Well, we're gonna have to. The, the wheels are already in motion. We can't stop it now. I like your energy a lot. I'm glad that I'm not the only one. Sometimes, I'll admit, sometimes I get a little embarrassed about, like, how into things that I get. But, honestly, once we once we get that out of the way, it's basically just acting. It's acting, it's putting on a face, it's putting on a show. And if you don't like it, leave. But if you do like it, please stick around, because I love to have you. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unluckily for you, of course, because you can't beat us. Marilyn, Vivian... Let's show them precisely what we can do. <laughs> yes, sis. I cannot flee. Are you at least staying in the city? Yeah, I'm moving like two blocks away. I'm basically in the same area. I'm still by the art. Uh, I'm still by the art museum. Same area. Still a Philadelphia man until my job or something else says otherwise. All right, muchachas. I'm gonna kick your bun. I'm gonna kick your buns. Kick your bun cheeks. All right, first we're gonna go with this Earth Tremor. Gonna do a little rhythm action going on here, if I can manage to keep focus on the screen for just a little bit of time and not screw things up. Maybe I can get a perfect. That'd be my dream. Dream would be per- No, damn it! It's okay. Okay, good. I find comfort in the sirens I hear during your- in the sirens that you hear for during the streams. That's good at least. At the very least, we know that we're at least safe around there. Perhaps one day, the sirens will come for me. Which I certainly hope wouldn't be the case, unless I'm like I'm actually in pain. In which case, I do want the sirens coming for me. If it's an ambulance, I don't want the sirens of the police coming for me. I don't like the idea of being arrested. Haven't been arrested yet, but I have an entire re rest of my life to live. Ag, you're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache. I guess it's time to stop toying with you. Hmm. What are you doing, Vizian? You twit! I'll never forgive you if you lose. S -s -s Sorry, sis. I got hit the same as everybody else did, and like you're just picking on me, cause like, <laughs> cause I'm the pretty one. Ha! Huh. I got this little tuft of hair that flies in my face, just like I do. See? There we go. Do these look about the same? Do what? Oh, the wigs? Let's ask the people. People of the world. Ow. Do these wigs look the same to you? Well, the direction's different. Wait, wait, wait. I'm t they're slightly different in direction. I'm trying to... Okay, well, okay. They should be the opposite of each other. But... They smell like hairspray. Yes, they have hairspray on them. Very hairspray. Oh, they're supposed to be the opposite sides. It doesn't matter. The part seems a little... 
This one's a little more They look good. Fluffy. I think they look really good. I think you did a really great job with them. Cool. I can't get the backs to stand up at all, so I'm just not going to do it. Maybe more hairspray? Nah, it has to do with, like, it's longer in the back because it needs to cover the holes. So if oh. I try to take out that, it starts showing up holes, and so I've restarted too many times. Can't wait to see how they look when we put them on our heads. Can I try on one of the wigs? Um, yours? It, wait, wait, wait. Which can, one? I, can I try it on? Any of them. I want to put, the wigs, oh. wanna put the, wigs wanna put the wigs on. I want to put the wigs on. Can I put the wigs on? I want to put my wig. No, I don't need a wig cap. It'll only be for a second. Or maybe I wear them for the stream. Are you working on them currently? Um, I just finished yours technically. This is all I'm doing. Can I come over and huff with her? With the shadow sirens? Oh, huff with the... <laughs> huff like we're huffing hairspray. No! Yeah, you can... No. We don't huff things. Don't encourage bad behavior. Well, it's a bit of a stalemate over here, because I'm like, yeah, totally, and Anna's like, no, totally not. We're not huffing things. Can I have that wig so I can put it on my head and totally not huff it? Be careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful. I'm very concerned about it. <laughs> I'm a redhead now. Actually, that, that doesn't look that bad on It's you. not that bad. It's got that nice, it's got that nice E mover. How does that look on the live screen? <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Okay. Should I keep this on? Um, I do need to take a picture of that. Wait a second, I'm just gonna get my phone, I'll do that. Alright, back to the- back to your regularly- regularly scheduled streaming. Can I still put my headphones on this? I'm not gonna break it. There we go. <laughs> Weasley- <laughs> Weasley with an X? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm- I'm Ronald Weasley. Hi there, welcome to Ronald Weasley Plays. Uh, well, welcome to a British man attempting to be British playing P Paper Mario. So sorry, sis. Everyone's British now. Fling, fling, fling. Oh, I've been struck by lightning. Oh my goodness gracious. Harry, I need protection. Oh, I've also been frozen solid. I'm posing for a picture from my dearest. I haven't seen the Harry Potter movies recently. I don't remember what <laughs> Ron Weasley sounds like, but he definitely sounds British, and I'm okay with that. Now, speaking of British things, um, instead of a crumpet, we're gonna thump it. And by thump it, I mean, I'm gonna whack this pretty siren girl with a hammer. <laughs> thump, awesome. thump, nice. I have a very odd way of showing my appreciation for, uh, ladies. S -s Sorry, sis. Sorry, sis. We're all British now, I forgot. Or at least my feigning attempt at being British. It's just a bit, I promise. It's just a bit. All right, now I'm gonna whack you with these guys with my power shell. I'm gonna hit you with a large layer of calcification. Add it to the Instagram, you're done. Add it to the Instagram, I'm done? So wait, I have to take this thing off now? Oh, no. Um, when you're done, just put it back on the thing, I guess? Here, actually, you should probably take it back because I'm gonna completely forget and probably fall asleep. Uh, yeah, please don't break my hand. Cosplay stream has ended. Dude, I love the idea of streaming and cosplay. Dude, I wonder if I can, if I can cosplay if I can cosplay, like, a character from a video game, I should totally play that game in cosplay. I totally would. Needs more hairspray. The Morbid Llama says that it needs more hairspray, dearest. Hairspray? No, you're not supposed to use that much. I'm just anything. Honestly, the hairspray that I'm thinking of is the one where you put it in front of a liar and you go, burn the thing to a crisp. It's more entertaining, but very, very destructive. Ack, now it's up to you! Ooh. Oh, your attack powers. But I don't quite like that. Let's not let you get anywhere near to doing that. Nice. Epic. Wonderful. Absolutely. Cool! And I die. Hey, man, I just realized... What's up? The What'd Princess Peach outfit is back at home. Is it really? You're telling me I can't put on my Princess Peach dress during stream? Well, you could, but we also don't have a hoop skirt because I Oh, broke didn't it. we also get rid of the wig, too? Oh my god, we did. Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I have the wig. It's just horribly matted. Wait one second. Let me grab it. It's horrible. We're going to find my Princess Peach wig. I once cosplayed as Princess Peach, and I look drop dead gorgeous. You did it twice. I did twice, actually. Anna corrected me. Mmm. <laughs> Maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Oh my <laughs> god! We I want to see you run away that sh runway that shit. Well, oh, here's what's left of my Princess Peach wig. 
I can fix it now. I know how to. She says she can fix it. Let's Do you want me to work head. on it? Are you actually gonna do that? <laughs> oh my god, I look like. Oh, wait, oh. I got a solution here. Who's the character from Wayne's World? I don't know. The other dude. Yo, guys, welcome back. Yo, guys, welcome back to Kevin with an X. <laughs> Looks very Kesha. Yeah, dude. Hold on one second. I can Yo. make this better. You're gonna make it better? Oh, do I have a tiara? This is my tiara. And it's got a tiara, bro. Oh, yo, give me my tiara, yo. This is my tiara. Welcome Aren't back to Cam's me? world, I dudes. Me <laughs> give, me, give me my princess tiara. Don't break it. Every pretty princess needs a tiara. Now you're Princess Peach, right? Now I'm Princess Peach, yo. Yo, welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. We're smoking up that dank and eating <laughs> shrooms, yo. <laughs> anyway, back to the narration. Oh, wrong screen. This one, I can barely see. Uh, overconfident. Yeah, the old lady's overconfident. <laughs> now that Visvian, you lumps, we would have won if you two pulled your weights. Both of you, prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home, because I will beat the living shit out of you! <laughs> There's hair in my mouth. Go, yes, sis, bye-bye, I have the necklace now. I cannot see in the ship. <laughs> well, this is intense. Hi there, everybody. Uh, I'm blonde now. Uh, welcome back to the stream. I'm beautiful and excellent, and um, you should dress the way that you want to. Are you a wig kind of person? Beautiful. Cross-dresser? Doesn't matter. You can do what you want. And now I have a pearl necklace. Actually, it might be a gold necklace, come to think of it. That's Flurry's necklace! Yes! Let's take it to her! Yes. Let's take the necklace to Flurry. I'm the Flurry now. I really do feel like I should be, like, on a rock and roll radio show. Okay, I'm gonna just start. Oh, is Anna gonna- Oh, Anna- <sighs> Anna's trying to brush the wig while it's on my head. Yeah. Alrighty then. Well, I have the two holders with the other ones on there, so. This is called multitasking. It's a thing that we do in this family. Alright, get in the pipe. Get in the pipe. In the pipe. My- I think everything I'm is falling. i get rid of all of these knots everything is and falling. then recurl it. Needs hairspray. It needs more hairspray, Anna! This one doesn't have hairspray in it! Oh my god. Needs more hairspray! Jesus Christ. Even more hairspray. Honestly, so, if you think about it this way, if applying hairspray to hair functions anything like programming would, then if you add enough hairspray to it, eventually you will have a buffer overflow and will reset back down to zero. Or, roll over to negative numbers. At least, that's- that's what I have in mind. I- I obviously know a lot about programming. Obviously. I know a lot about bits and bytes mostly, because that's the kind of stuff that I work in. Doing- being a firmware developer has its ups and downs. On the upside, it's cool! I get to make things do things on a physical level. When I make changes to the firmware that I write, I actually get to see it functioning. Um, I guess it's the same can be said of like front-end developers, I suppose. But I can also touch it too. That's the best part. Uh, but on the other side of things, sometimes ones and zeros get mixed up and confusing. And, um, well, Sometimes when you think that you're assigning the value of 10 to something, you actually assign the value of 6,554. Which is just big enough to realize you have a problem sometimes. Or all the times. Or it goes under the radar and you literally never know. And you can't find it till later and when a customer has it and they're like, Hey, why are we getting these really giant values? And you're like, oh shit. I missed that one too. Flurry, I have your necklace. Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by my door and wait a moment. Okie dokie. There you go. <laughs> ah, the bodacious one. Bodacious is such an awesome word. <laughs> bodacious and protonaceous are two of my favorite words. That alongside pneumonal ultramicroscopic silico volcanoconiosis, which is another one of my favorite words. Also, I don't mind the fact that I'm literally falling apart over here. I have fallen apart. Oh, splendid, splendid! My oh-so-ravishing necklace! I'm a wash and joy! I missed this thing. Oh my god, look at this tuft of hair. Whoa! Look at this brush! Oh, that is full of I'm gonna take goodness you gracious! My crown. Oh, hey there, you lovely thing! Mwah. Mwah. Wait, I gotta put the thing back on. And still not a powerful enough word for Busty the Cloud. <laughs> it's the booby cloud woman. Oh, my word! Mario, isn't it? Are you my Hiroki necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine special of a man? Yes, indeed. You mean this guy? 
I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how do I do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little bit of sugar? Come here, Mario! No, just kidding. You're not Mario. I'm Mario. Here I come, handsome. I Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up! God, that's not... That was not consensual. Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. And that's, uh, that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? What are you doing to me? That's it. Give me back the wig. And it's taking the wig working. back. Oh, my headphones. They didn't need to make them jiggle like that. They most certainly didn't. But apparently, this is before the time that Mario, uh, d d Nintendo determined that they didn't need jiggle physics. Also, I'm wearing a tiara now, so deal with it. Looks like two capital C's. Those are my initials, two capital C's. Cameron and then Cal, that's my last name. I've docked myself. It's fine, it's literally all over the internet. The very same crystal star spoken of by all the lone lives in Rogueport. Mm, a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. Um, and besides, I do declare, that plus mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say, I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario? Flurry has joined your party. What can she do? She can bounce around. She's a very bodacious individual, nice and nice and um, and very proud of herself. And honestly, that's the only thing that we could ask for. Flurry's abilities: a primer, press, and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a little bit. Hold down X to make Flurry exhale continuously. Blow. Oof. Also, to be perfectly honest, what are you holding on to, Mario? I don't want to know. She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her... stage presence. She can also aid Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies totally away. Bye-bye. That was the flashing of the screen, not anything else, I promise you. This is wonderful. It's so nice Flurry likes you, Mario. That really, that's great. That's that's totally super wonderful. I can't believe she likes you. She doesn't not like everybody or anything like that. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the great tree. Onward, my busty friend. You're very well endowed, and honestly, we can appreciate that. Honestly, I think I might be jealous. I dare, dare I say, I will not be attempting to compensate for such things like that. So, uh, you just be you, I be me, we're all happy family. I'm cool with it. Let's continue onwards. Honestly, if there's anything that I think Flurry stands for, it's the whole, you know, free the nip thing. We didn't need to wear bras. I don't think she's wearing one, and that's okay. I'm all for that. Personally, I don't wear a bra, so I don't think anybody else needs to, too. Honestly, in general, people in general seem to over-sexualize that stuff anyway, and I think that's society's fault and the fault of the individual as well. So, like, be free, be wonderful, be you. Game side... Game side smacker... Side smacker? Say, side as macker. Side as maker. Game side as maker. Hello. Hello there. I apologize. It took me a little bit to try to decipher the name there. I'm not super good at- there's, I got small text over there. I'm not wearing my glasses today. That's the excuse that I've come up with today. I'll have a next- I'll have another one next week as well. If there's anything I can do, it's come up with excuses. Either for better, or for worse. Madame Flurry has a pair of... earrings. She's also got a pair of... tufts on the top of her head that seem oddly reminiscent of one of the Koopalings? Don't know why. It just happens to be that way. Oh, wow. I forgot I was supposed to do that. Yep, yep, yep. You got it. Bounce. Nice. Games Idea Master. Games? Oh, yo. Games Ideas Maker. What did I read that as the first time? Game, so <laughs> Game Side S -ma smack Smaker. Game Side Smaker. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's a better interpretation there. See, it's a crowd. It's a crowdsourced effort. If we all work together, eventually we'll all know what our names are. 
For example, that's a morbid llama, that's Game's idea maker, Disney Queen is in the back, and I'm Cameron with an X. The X is silent. And now we know. And now that introductions are over, allow me to introduce you to my pal, Mario, and his sidekick, secondary character, Flurry and Puny. They're on an adventure together. And we're gonna go blow a tree. Honestly, that's the biggest thing. Give me your Mickey. Your Mickey? Give me your Mickey. Do I have a Mickey around here? Is there a Mickey around here? I don't have a Mickey around here. Let's see. Mickey? Mickey? Where is the Mickey? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have the Mickey. Where is the Mickey? There is the Mickey. Wait. Oh my goodness. I dropped things. Well, okay, well. Here's one Mickey. It's a hat. This is my Mickey hat. It's funny, because it's got a little side hanging off of him. Here, let's put on the Mickey hat. I'm putting on all kinds of hats today. We not even, we're not even earning it these times. Hi there, this is my Mickey. Oh God, I, can no, I can no longer hear things. Look behind you. Oh! oh well that fell this thing this is actually this is the mickey that you refer to i am so dude guys if it hasn't been already made clear i'm a very dense individual i will honestly forget the things that are literally right behind me this is a mickey made of pi made of pine cone needles my my brother made it for me for christmas one time it's super duper awesome i think he also made a creeper for my younger my youngest brother um and other things as well. I don't remember exactly what else he made, but um, I think... Oh my goodness, I'm trying to put the back on my wall. There we go. Oh, I have to put the... I have to put the good a good vibes fan away too. I'm gonna put that back up on my wall. Everything's falling. Things were not meant to be taken off of the wall, but alas, for the people, I will do almost anything. Anything at all. Anyway, that's one Mickey. That's two Mickey. And there's a third Mickey as well. A secret hidden Mickey. That will only that will only pop up under certain conditions. What that condition may be? Well, I guess you're gonna have to find out. Anyway, could it, oh, I have an email that actually kind of spooked me a little bit. Hi there, email time. Oh, I, I guess I have to actually go manually check that email. Uh, gear and mailbox and RDM premier issue. Premier issue. Rogue port today. Bringing you all the up-to-date moment news as it happens. We now have details of yet another incident at the Powerland West Rogue Port. Outraged by the high pin yet Pianta prices, Goonfree, age 30, is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, age 5, causing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, which led to the Pianta Changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Shop reporters go. Get all the hottest shopping news all about all the hottest shopping spots in the world. If Puddleberg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty shop. The friendly owner has long been thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town, but word is, he's secretly in love with the girl of the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say. You only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at Gold Nifty Tea's good old nifty shop. Cooking for rookies. Interested in cooking but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe. Fried shrooms. Just season your shrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. Editor's note. We hope you enjoyed this RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to future editions coming your way very your way soon. A bunch of asterisks. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. And... Well, now I know how to make fried shrooms. You take shrooms and you fry them deep fry them ever so pleasantly i know i was mentioning earlier about how not very proficient to cook i am but i made a really good decision today and that was so we went out for noodles the other week had some leftovers had a bunch of broth left over tons of broth left over and a couple of noodles and chicken and mushroom stuff inside it was great but i had all this broth and I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with a bunch of broth? So I put rice in it, and I cooked the rice in the broth. Oh. Awesome idea. That rice was delicious. It was like a spicy pepper broth. It was so good. Would highly recommend. All right, blow the thingy off the wall. Secret entrance, gone. And lo and behold, it says secret entrance. Wow, that's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go! Oh! Aren't beauties just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? 
I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize... I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go to my own adventure. Flurries, super flurry, paper, super and paper flurry. Mario, can you hear me? I can. I hearken to you. Ack, acknowledgement. Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside! Come on! Over here! That actually sounds pretty good! Hey! That's pretty good! The time has come for me to repay my debt to the beauties. Come along, Mario! We're going on a tree adventure! Onward to the tree adventure! Tree adventure time? Hey, bud. Hurry up! Go inside! Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Inside! They've mechanized the doorway, so we can't just enter like we used to be able to do. Anything in there? Coins. Nice. Any items? Cool. Awesome. Nice little bog of the tree. Ah, yes. Ah. Uh, hmm. Normally everybody's right here. What the hey hey? Really, guys? No big grand opening? No welcome? Hey, Elder! Everybody! Come out! I'm home! Hello! Hey there! Oh, you're not the elders at all. You're x nots and you suck. Wow, who are you guys? How do you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that? Isn't he that Mario guy? Is that, that's that Mario guy, right? What? He is? Oh, well, we'd better get him then. But dude, the crumb told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh! Oh yeah, <laughs> right on. Let's rock this jump. One, two, three, break! Huddle, huddle, break! Let's get him! Pow! Right in the face. I'm gonna whack these guys disciplinarily. Just like that. Oh, that wasn't very good. That was satisfying. It was a satisfying slap which sound. Alright, um, let's kick your butt. Kicking butt. Butt. Butt has been kicked. Kick butt. Kick boxer. Gale Force, I can push them away if I wanted to, but I won't. Right in the thing. I don't remember how to do a stylish move on that one, but I'm sure I'll figure it out by clicking buttons. Oh! <laughs> Flurry, I heard you like the stage lights, so. So I decided to give you the stage lights by dropping them right in your face. It's show business, baby. Sometimes you just don't know what's gonna happen on stage. You gotta think on your feet, you gotta improv a little bit. You never know what might happen. Nice. C crud! That's stuck, man! Dude, maybe maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Bye bye. So long, farewell, Alfredo Zane. Pretty slick handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way they go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? It's not like there's some, like, an infestation of enemies and antagonists. <laughs> That'd be silly. Oh! Exclamation. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. How you doing back there? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I just found a powerful ally. He's the most powerful. Have you ever heard of Super Mario before? The Jumpman? Here, this is my buddy. He's... he's huge! Uh, are you sure you have a stuff yet, man? Won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey! Who's that? Who else is back there? Oh, literally everybody. I don't like him. Who crosses danger? Nice that! It scares me so burly! Now, don't worry, everybody. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario stop every single one of them, just like those last goons. He's gonna beat the ever living shit out of these guys! Did you see what he did to the next half back there? Wild. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait! How do we really know the 
Just barely follows our ally. He might be one of them. Puniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ha! <laughs> Big Ben Punio, listen to yourself trying to sound all important like... You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Puniper? I don't see any problems around here. Everything looks fine. And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons! The Elder, everybody, including your sister! <gasps> what? P Patootie! Tell me it isn't so! It's so, it's alright! No, it's so alright! She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them! They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing! We told them they would never heard of it! Oh, poor Patootie! Well, that absolutely tears it! We've got all- we've all gotta go look for them right away! What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything for those giant goons! Besides, they aren't alone! They cursed Jabby Tribe is in league with them! They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it! This is it for us! The end! And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit! How can you say that? You can't know that! We have to try! Don't you see? Think about it! If we all get together, we can take care of any stupid jammies! So who's with me? Huh? Come on everyone, let's pool our strength together! Ha! <laughs> Punio, Punio, Punio! You have to convince me because I think you're nuts! What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what! You and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade! Ha! Like that! That will ever happen, please! Fine! We'll show you! Right, Mario? Right? Come on! Follow me to glory! Let's go help him! Onwards to glory, my friends! Ha! <laughs> I say it again! Ha! By all means, help our friends! You can't help us. You can't even help yourself. Or maybe you can. Honestly, who knows? Maybe this Mario guy is a lot better than we think. Or are you quitting now? Tell me there's no hope that it's impossible? It's possible. If it's Popsicle, it's possible. Or so I learned from television commercials once upon a time. Let's heal up a little bit. I really didn't need that. Do a little savies. Save all game progress? Absolutely. Well, he found the secret entrance to the tree. That's progress if I've ever seen it. Let's go around this fanciful little tree and see if there's any more to find. There is. I know there is. Alright. Shake it, shake it. Alright, right. I need more punies. Punies, punies! Come out, come out wherever you are. And I, if I recall, the whole point of this one is just to find all the punies and stuff. Ooh, power punch. I really need to go back to... I wish I could go back to Rogue, Rogue Port and deposit some of this stuff. I don't need a fire flower on me at all times. I'll throw that away. Hey, come on, buddy. Oh. I was going to make contact with your head and my, the sole of my foot, but it didn't work that way. And now I'm so sad to say that I'll have to beat you up the normal way instead. All right, well, time to hit your face. But in the most stylish way possible. Oh, sweet! A bucket fell on your head. <laughs> That's excellent. I don't love that. All right. Still trying to figure out how to do the stylish move with the body slam. I just, I just do not remember. Oh, I just remembered. I think I increased my BP points uh, during that last level up. I should really add some more badges. Right? Yeah. I should put some more badges on. Uh, the Quake Hammer, damage dodge, greatly decreases damage by one with a guard action command. So, like, my guard basically becomes better. Mega Rush, increase attack power by five when our partner is in peril. Like that. So I can purposely get my partner down to really low health and then just wail on enemies. It's an idea. 
Slowly and automatically restore HP. I think I just need more abilities. That's what I'll go for right now. I need more abilities, so I'll go with that. And while I have the badge points for it, I will go with the Mega Rush. Because, uh, I like that idea. Needs more badges. And I will ruffle every single bush to find a badge. Because I think I was able to find a badge the last time by ruffling a bush, if I'm correct in saying. Alright, where them poonies at? Hey, pal. Nope, don't like that. Oh my god, no! Ah! You weren't in range of my hammer! Nice dodge. <laughs> nice dodge. Um. I don't remember what kind of health you have. I'm gonna bounce on you. Alright, well, you definitely have more than two. Maybe you have more than... Oh, that's how I do it. I hit the button when I hit the ground. Nice. Oh, if I guard, did I avoid that? Oh, okay. If I actually guard it... If I guard it, then I actually take no damage at all. Oh, that's not fun. I guess I use my multi-bounce. Aw, oh, come on. I made me a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo thing. Oh well. Well, I guess we'll just have to move on from there. Oh, didn't- I totally missed that one too. Man, you are not- Oh, you got two of them. Can I try multi-bounce again? Nice. Oh, very happy to see that. Now I can body slam you. <laughs> Kerplunk. Kerplunkage. Nice. And then you're going to try to do your thing again. I'm going to try to guard. And I am having a really, really hard time guarding that guy. I'm the one who's in danger now. All right. Bouncity bounce. Bouncity, bouncity, bounce. And we're going to slam you again. It's easy to slam your friends. Just let gravity do all the work for you. Just jump and smack. It's that easy. Well, now that you're taken care of, I have a distinct lack of health right now. I'll just use my sweet treat when I go back to the next battle. I'm like, I'm not the kind of person who likes to use items. I like to use, I like to keep them more for like the, uh, the variety of it all. I don't know. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it, and they live here. After all, this pointless searching. I'm thinking we're looking in the wrong place. Not if I can help it. Um, ouch. Got you, Ms. Mauser. Hey, what's up, Elder? Elder! Pewdio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped. This is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other Pewdies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Mm, let me think. Where was I? Big Brother? Oh, is that, is that my Pewdio? I don't know. Who is this guy? Oh, yo. It's the sister. Petunie! Thank heavens! You're here! You're safe! I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. I have brought a, And I brought us a mighty ally. Look at this guy. We're gonna get you out of there right away. I swear. You just hold tight. Just a second. Okay. Mario! <clears throat> Listen, you gotta find the shell key, or we're going nowhere. Okie dokie, but what if I go inside and say hello to everybody? Hey, what's up? Isn't that crazy? Big brother, you came! I did. Hi, everybody. Hi, every puny. Every puny for himself, I suppose. Alright, let's go find that key. Find that key, set you free, everybody, free toffee. Eh, free toffee for everybody. Oof. Well, is it this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Excuse me, we must. What? Are, are you a friend of Mario's? Oh, wait, I see. And I most certainly do not approve. 
Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Mwah! Beautiful boy! <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again! Peace out, Girl Scout! Oh, mercy me, Mario. You're popular with all the girls, aren't you? The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care of my handsome stash, superstar. Let's get together again soon. Bye! Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not too jealous. What a shameless flirt. Uh, ugh, my aching. Hey, you. Y you're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing the dirty in around here. Uh, let's just fight, okay? I cannot flee. Why would I want to? When I have the opportunity to whack you with this esteemed spiky hammer, why would I want to leave? And look damn good doing it. Nice. Key. Key? You got the red key. A key that opens the red cell door. Uh, who knew? Excuse me. Oof. Alright. What's in the chest? What do we got? An ultra shroom. Well, I think I'll swap that out with a mushroom. Don't need that. Nothing in that far bush. It's a bush. Bush. Bush, bush. Coin. Bush, bush. More coin? No. They've got some cartographer's maps over here. The x knots are plotting out the tree. They will. They will find that tree. <laughs> hey, guys. I found you. Red key. It's the red key for the red cell. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! Pyrrho, sit down this instant to keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you. Mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just went to find help. To, to rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an elder mid-lecture. Never. If you wonder why the other's puties call you a doofus sometimes, that's why. And your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Long, long ago. Several hours later... Or else... You got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Pewdio. Uh, yes, Elder. Yes, I, I understand. Huh. Only answer once. Let's say, by the way, why are you here anyway? I was just telling you we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy. This cell is cold. Which isn't good for the old back. There's this damp stench. Ugh. Disgusting. Well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Let's boogie. Just you wait, Petunia. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. Time to find the blue one. Which, uh, I guess I gotta go back down for. There was definitely at least one door that the Elder opens, maybe? For chance? Trying to find the blue key, the blue key, the blue key. Trying to find the blue key, wherever it may be. I don't exactly remember where that is. So we'll just have to search around for a little bit more. Perhaps the Elder himself can provide some details on where I should be going next. I don't know. I do not know. Elder, open doors for me? Will you open a door for me somewhere? I just have to find the Elder again. It's as simple as that. I'm also a little low on health, so perhaps I should heal. But I don't want to use any of the items that I have, because I think most of them are really good, like, ingredients. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Well, I saved the Elder, so surely I've convinced y'all that I'm trustworthy. 
little of it isn't Pewdio. <laughs> you heard me. Yep. I can't say I'm excited you managed to rescue the elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you haven't rescued the other puties yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule. Displorable. How dare you talk like that, knowing what you're up against. We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, other! Such a trap, Peter Burr. Mind me, you hear? We'll help Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was again? It was, a uh, Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh. He's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes. Simmer down, you. And everyone else, help Mario clear out the trout tree. All right, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Patootie, too. And you're right. We have no choice. We must fight. Right, everyone? Yeah. There you go, my puties. That's the spirit. Ten puties join my party. Excellent. Thanks, you guys. Say, if you have a moment, might I ask a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called the Crystal Star. Do you know of it? The Crystal Star, eh? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? All right, guard it from evil. Give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Mario, um, I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal star, bottom part of the tree. Go for it. Okie dokie. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of our captured, of the captured puties. Yep, they'll never get to the gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. Wow. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're not using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. It's an unfortunate character trait of our species. We just get very easily distracted. It's, uh, for generations. Seriously. I got the puny orb, the emblem of a puny leader, given to you by the Elder, naturally. Alright, guys, so let's go rescue everybody! Armored, everyone. Are you ready, Mario? The crystal star is at the very bottom of the tree. For the sake of the puny tribe's future, you mustn't give it to those thugs. My goodness. Oh, and one more thing, before you go, of course. So sorry, so sorry. Um, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? Uh, right, uh, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the puties and have a hard time fighting them, just come see me. What I'll do is, I'll give a whistle to call them back to here. A little bit of a, so to speak. Over the weekend, I came the closest that I was ever at to be able to do that thing where, like, you put your fingers against your mouth and whistle. I'm not going to do it now, because if I do it successfully, then it's... I, I live in a small apartment. It'll be very unfortunate for literally everybody around me. Um, I would not wish this. I would not wish that on my enemies. Also, Anna's a little... Anna's got a couple of ear things, so I don't want to potentially break her eardrums by whistling really, really loudly. Which is a possibility. I, I realize I have a lot of faith in myself there. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm good at that. I can whistle regularly without the two-finger thing. I can whistle just fine there. I wonder if that... I hope that's got caught by the microphone. Nice. My goodness, would you look at that? A pipe leading down. Let's see where it leads. I will take this. You remove the puny orb, and the pipe did not disappear. Why would it? Why would it disappear? That'd be silly. I actually had a really hard time doing the voices for all of those got um all of those punies at the same time i like i like forgot some of the voices for a little bit but um 
Honestly, you kind of I'm kind of making these things up on the spot. So if I wind up missing them every once in a while, I think it's it's just it's just gonna happen. It, it's gonna happen eventually. Voices will change. Voices will adjust. We'll see how things go. I can make I can make no promises. I try like I think what I try to do is if I have if I find the time to do it, I'll try to review what happened last time to try to refamiliarize myself with the voices. But I uh, it's, things are hectic. Things are hectic, 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 busy. So I can't necessarily make that guarantee. All right, bouncing your boy. Now your boy's dead. Bouncing on your boy's boys. I'm close to a level up. 74? I'm at 74 points? That's pretty close to a level up. Unlock door. Dink. Nice. I can also jump across this. Can the peony arms even get over here? You place the peony arms. Can they even collect? No. Does not seem that they can. There we go. I got them all back. Let's, um... Oh, did that not work? Oh, I can go in temporarily. It seems. I was able to open the door for a little bit. Oh! Oh, I see, I see. That's a way to get back that way now. Nice. Well, that's excellent. Well, if I jump down here, I should be okay, right? Unless there are enemies. I think there may- Oh, I have to go down with the punies. I see, I see, I see, I see. Alright, come down here, everybody. Come down. Come along. Come along there, punies. Follow me across the water, if you will. Hopefully. Maybe not. I hope so. Water? Nah, you're not into the water thing. But I bet I can blow you across, right? Oh, no, 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 I can blow you across up there. I remember that now. I actually blow- I can actually blow the punies, right? I put the puny orb here, and then I blow them across. There we go. <laughs> Use your blow powers! Blue powers activate! This- this button, not the other one. Oh. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I have to pop him. I gotta pop him. Go, go get him. Go get him, get him. Go get him. To the other side. You got it. Use the bubbles to your advantage. Fly, fly. Fly, punies. Fly, punies, fly. And that's it. And we got them all. Oh, all except for some of them. Oh, no, we got them. Sweet. And now if I go down, that should have opened up a little thing, right? Oh. I wonder if I didn't have the peony orbs, what that would have done for me. Hello, enemies? I think there's an enemy over here. Oh, hi there. Come on down and say hello to me on my face level. A little squip. Piter. Piter thing? Yeah. Doo doo doo. Whoop how! Gotcha. Hit you with my powerful abilities. I'll kill you. All right. I don't remember how much of the- I, I want to recall that you have like four or five health for some reason. I don't know why I know that. Or why I think I know that. But alas. Nice. Dunzo? Oh, not Dunzo yet. Oh, jeez. I don't like it. I don't like it when you shoot your webs. How does I shot web? Certainly not like that. Was that good? Was that good? Yeah. Now you're dead. Easy, easy fighters. I feel like there's a relative benefit to tattling on the enemies ahead of time so that I know what the health is, but like, eh. I don't really wanna. I'm too lazy to switch my characters around and do my tattle thing. I'll just, I'll just wing it. I don't need to, I like, I always, I always like knowing how much health is left on an enemy to be able to give me an idea, like to be able to like plan things out a little bit better, but like, I don't need to do it. There's no real necessity. Oh, hi there. Yeah, I don't want that. Nope. Not a fan. Nope. Not really a fan. Not a fan. Please, please don't. Do that, do that, do that thing. There we go. Hit you with the hammer. So you can die. Wapow. Or so they say. I can hit you with my hammer, because you won't respond to literally anything else, or else I'll be whacked by your... Your teeth. Your teeth. That's what they, you call those things. Teeth. Nice. Very nice hit there. Don't hit. Don't hit. Don't hit. You know, in sign language, don't hit is this. Don't hit. Oh, can't do that. 
Guess I'll have to bounce. And and the gale force? Can I reach the gale force up there? Or the body slam? I can reach the body slam up there. I didn't remember whether that was the case or not. Whether I could actually reach it from all the way up there. Bum, ba -dum, bum, boom, bum. What should my next... I'm trying to think what my next level up upgrade should be. I'm thinking... I'm thinking health. I don't really need a lot of badge points right now. So I don't think I need the badge points. Hey, pal. Nope, don't want it. I actually don't. Nope. I don't want... I will go down. I will proceed farther downwards. Bye, boy. Going down. Trying to find more punies. Hey, oh, it's the jabby. Hey, jabby. There he goes. Mario, did you see it? That was a jabby. Based on what Punipur said, well, they were helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with the jab with jabby. Jabal. He's one of the jabby tribe. I wonder if the jabal is my enemy now. Let's hope not. I like Jabble. Jabble's a cool guy. At least I'm inclined to think so. Nope, no shake a shake there. Shake a shake over here. Oh, it's the Jabby Hive. Everyone, it's the Jabbies. It's a 10 Jabby squadron. Up, uh, let's get them. Come on, Mario. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, no, they got you. Oh, that was not good. They've walked all over us. We have to regroup and try again. Right. I would actually need my punies with me. Ouchie, I can't believe we lost. We'll definitely beat them the next time, though, right? Probably. I just need my punies back. Gotta get my punisters back. Hey there, Piter. Don't touch. Don't do that thing where you touch. Not appreciated. We don't like that around here. Instead, let's walk along this precarious bridge where you could fall off at probably any moment because literally holes to the ground. Oh, and this is another jabby layer, right? This is another jabby layer. Yeah. Oh. My, 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 my. It's a lot of jabbies. You've made your point. There are a lot of jabbies. Everyone, it's the jabbies! It is. We're gonna lose. It's a 100 jabby squadron. Uh, charge? No. Nope. No. No. I will not- I will not allow for this to happen. Instead, I will fall back down, save myself, and continue. Because that's not gonna- that's not gonna work out for anybody. I just- I just know that. You look like you're peeling off the wall. Am I right? Oh my god, you are peeling off the wall! Alright! That's pretty cool! Oh yo, is this a shop? I don't think I ever realized that there was a shop here. Look at that. Wow. Howdy do all day, bud. Welcome to the pungent shop. What can I do for you? Do you for? I'm here to shop. I'm here to sell. I'm here to store. I want to store things. Lizzie, uh, you can store up to 32 more items, but Want to store anything? Ultra stream. Consider it store. Want to store anything else? Yes. We'll do the power punch. I'm storing all of my ingredients for later. Yes. Let's do the volt shroom. We'll do the lightning bolt. We'll do the... Tea thing, tea leaf, do the live stream. Let's do the honey syrup. And that's it for me. Come back anytime, bud. This spa shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? Nah, not me, dog. I have no idea. Let's get an ice storm. I think you can use an ice storm for recipes. Um, mystery. Why not? Let's grab one of those. Um, let's grab myself a mushroom. I earned some points. Here's your, here's your prize. A fine mushroom. Thanks, bro. Uh, and let's store... I'm gonna store the ice thing. Because I, I, I think these are ingredients to recipes. And I'll be able to explore those more a bit later. That's what I'm hoping to do. Wanna store anything else? Ah, uh, let's put a mushroom in there. Why not? And why not? Let's put a Fright Mask in there and a Power Block. We'll try to have one of everything. And the Mystery? I guess, can you make anything with the Mystery? I'm honestly not so sure. Ah, uh, that's it. That's, that's okay for me. What are the points things? 
10 points. Oh, when you get a bunch of points, you get that stuff. So you have to spend money. Spend more cash. Spend more cash at your local establishment. Always shop local. It's a good thing to do. Definitely just spilled cocktail on myself. Whoops. It happens sometimes. Oh, nice. A star piece. Well, that's... That was unexpectedly happy. Nice. Alright, moving right along. We'll find more punies. Find more jabbies, perhaps. Perchance, perchance. Can't go in here. Or can I? I cannot. Well, I guess I gotta go back to the punies. I gotta take them off that little thing there. I, I probably should... I, I should have brought them with me. Duh. The whole point of putting the orb in there is to be able to put them all in one place, and then I take out the orb so that they fall on me. Right? That That's the deal here. Yeah, don't... Nope. Don't want it. Don't want it. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, you stupid little piranha plant thing! Not a fan. Not a fan at all. I, unlike some people, am not a large fan. Particularly a large industrial fan. I have this saying that I do. Instead of saying I'm a fan, I say I'm a large industrial fan. If I'm really, really into it. Because large industrial fans are much bigger fans than just regular fans, I think. All right, come here. Oh, am I missing some of you? What? How am I missing you guys? Oh, you're all the way over there. All right, fine. Follow me. Follow me, everybody. Get blown. Blown off the edge. Get out of here. G guys. Guys, I need all of you. I need all of your help on this one. I need all of y'all's help on this one. Everybody. Everybody everywhere. Alright, blow. Blow, 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 blow. Blow, 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 blow. Excellent. Then you get the orb. Go back over here. Get everybody. Do we have everybody? Seriously? Wait, who else is left? Am I missing somebody? Is there somebody down here? No way, dog. Oh, look. Shard spray. Sweet. Can upgrade one of my partners later if I want to. Oh, Thunder Charge. Thunder Rage. It's fine. Where is my other dude? Is it Pewdio? That's interesting. I don't know where my other dude is. Is he left downstairs? I'm confused now. Where my dude's at? Or maybe he's on the other side. I don't see Puny anywhere. That I can say that for sure. Maybe he's just on the other uh, on the other side of the pipe. Oh, I do have a guy on me. I apparently have two on me. All right, I I have ten. I'm just gonna go down, take them all with me, and see what happens. I think I need I either need ten or I need eleven. We'll see. We'll see what we can find. Try to find these little guys. I think what I'll do. It's getting a little late over here. I think I'll try to fight these ja I'll defeat these jabbies, fight them, get rid of them, kill them. And then um I'll find the next save point. I think I'll call it a night from there. Either either beat jabbies, find save point, or if I can find the blue key, I'll wait until after we've got the blue key. And I lost more peonies. This is frustrating. Not a fan of this. Um, where'd you go go? Peonies. Hey there. Yeah, I see you there. Come with me, please. Please go into the pipe. Into the pipe. I seem to be missing a puny. Who that puny be, I don't know. Can 10 go up against 10, or do we need one extra? I feel like I need all 11 of them. So, um... Here, follow me, punies. Come down with me. Or you can stay up there. That's, that's cool, too, I guess. Um... Man, I don't know where the other puny went. I thought I I'm missing Punio <laughs> for some reason. That's really wonky. Oh, I see. You guys get scared by the. Oh, there's Punio. There you are. You were just scared by the spider dudes, and you fawn. That's cool. All right. Well, everybody's down there now. That actually works out pretty well because now I can catch up with everybody. Right? There's a. Now we're ready for the fight. Finally got my platoon together. Everyone are gonna go and fight. That'll be how we do it. All right, everybody. Slowly, but carefully. Come along. Let's fight those jabbies. 
Jab, 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 jab. You know the deal. Jabbies are here. Beat him up. Whoa, Nelly. Can I blow? Maybe blowing is not a good idea. Nice. Kill them. Kill them. I'm rooting for the punies. Wow, we did it. We defeated every last jabby here. Now we have to destroy the jabby high fortress. Destroy it. Break it apart. Wap. Destruction isn't insured. Nice job, everybody. Really proud of the work that you've done here. All the jabbies are dead, twitching, just clinging on to dear life. That's what you get for a war between tribes. That's just how it has to be. All right. Now, here's a puzzle. I need to make this say the correct thing. But first, let's open up this chest. Got the blue key. Yes! With this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry! We have to free my sister and the others! I can't go through this yet, because I don't think I have ground pound yet. I will eventually get ground pound. Pretty sure. And if I'm correct in saying, that sequence of things there might be the same as what we found in Professor Frankly's lair. I have a picture of it on my phone in case we need to go back for it. But... Before we go back for it, I'm ready to go unleash these people. And they'll never come back, and that's that. And what's gonna happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's the thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Well, great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Puna will return. That's our cue to return to the Blue Gate. Come along, my fellow punies. We're going to go save your sister. Go through this doorway, that is. I think we have to go through this doorway. And then up, and then around, and then shortcut around. It's, it's great. It's perfect. It's easy. We're going to release your sister yet. Yes, we will. And then we'll call it an evening for tonight. Because I think we've made some pretty good progress so far. Alright, don't be dissuaded by the piranha plant. We, we don't need to worry about it. It's not scary. I'm the one you should be afraid of. I've got the spiky hammer and jump ability. And will eventually be able to ground pound you into oblivion. Come to think of it, I now remember... I've been thinking a lot about, like... Playing this Paper Mario game makes me want to play the Super Paper Mario game. And in the Super Paper Mario game, all of your abilities are tied to the different pixels that you have. The pixies, I think. And I'm pretty sure one of the pixel, one of the abilities was to just ground pound you. It's just, this individual, like, partner gives you the ability to ground pound. Where otherwise you would not be able to. And I, and I think that's unique. And I, I like that. I remember having a ton of fun in that game. I don't, honestly, now that I think about it, I don't like, I don't particularly remember, um, like, distinguishing my memory between Super Paper Mario and Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. However, I will say that I distinct, I feel like I remember having a lot of fun with both of them. I think I was much more into the story for Super Paper Mario than I was regular Paper Mario, but, um, but I think Super pa Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door has more like a nostalgic feel for me. Because like I played this when I was a lot younger. And when I was still <laughs> at a phase in time where unless I was specifically told that you need to do something, I would just do the obvious thing over and over again. Case in point, when I first played Luigi's Mansion with my younger brother, we would play... We would stay in the training area and keep flashing the ghost, but we'd never suck them up because we didn't know that we were supposed to suck up the ghost. We thought we were just supposed to bang them with the flashlight and so we would be in the training room for a long time thinking are we missing something here or this is what we're supposed to be doing we actually counted up to i think a hundred ghosts before we realized we are definitely doing something wrong here and eventually figured things out Petuni, i'm back we brought the key we're opening the cell right now here we come open the cell door open the cell door blue key open the cell door here we go come on out everybody oh look at that 
Big brother. Oh. Little Petunie. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope. I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother. I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Here's a dried mushroom. Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But... Well, this one kind of got dried out. Nom 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 Oh, nasty. Big brother? It was icky, wasn't it? Um, I'm sorry. No, not... <laughs> not at all! <laughs> mm -hmm. This is very... Uh, very <coughs> yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug, Patuni. Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on, don't get all mushy. You've been staring. Well, it's just a really sweet gesture and all. That's all. No, it was nothing. Now, everybody together. 90 punies have joined your party. Now there's 101. Actually... Hmm... I'm considering about moving on. I'm considering it. But I think I do want to leave it till next time. That's what I'm gonna do. I know what- what- I know that what comes after this is... Beating, I think, Magnus Von Grapple. I think he shows up at the tree. Excuse my hiccups. I think he shows up at the tree. You find the crystal star, and that, yeah, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I think there's a boss battle. There, there's probably a boss battle. I just need to make it toward the end easily. And I don't think it's gonna be that difficult. I think I'll get it till I get the crystal star. I I have a feeling I can get the crystal star. So that's what that, that's what I'll do. I'll continue. I'll continue. Progress little by little. I guess the goal by this point to set the precedent forward is to try to get a crystal star per episode, but. We'll see how that winds up paying out, playing out. I don't know if it will, honestly. We'll see. Alright, so if I go this way, I should be able to put all the punies in one location. There's a 100, um, population jabby hive. I'll have my punies beat up the jabbies and kick them off the face of the earth and kill them. Eviscerate them. Absolutely kill them. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I need my orb. My orb of power is something I need. Come along, everybody! I've got all 101 of you, so please follow behind. Single follow line, if you will. It'd be appreciated. And, um, I guess I have to kill the spiders, right? Yeah. Um. I guess what I could do... I can use my... Maybe I can use, like, uh, coops to be able to hit the spiders. Alright, don't, don't even, don't even, don't even... You're fine. You're fine. Just keep following me. Just keep... Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, I needed my punies. Silly punies. No, come along. Come back. You gotta come back with me. Come along, punsters. Come here, punies. There we go. All of them. 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 There we go. Got all 101 of them. Following right in suit. Here we go. Now I gotta kill these spider, these piters. Otherwise, they're gonna freak the hell out of them. Can I jump on these guys? I gotta jump on them. I can jump on them. And a stylish jump, if I may add. Um. Oh wait, I can't quake. I can't quake hammer. Slightly damage all ground enemies, but nobody's a ground enemy. All right. Well, I'll multi bounce. Nice. And uh, gale force tackle enemies with a powerful gust of wind. Nice. Bye bye, everybody. So long. <laughs> I love the idea that you just blow these guys right off the stage. It's great. Oh, and then I fall to the ground. That's okay. That's... That's less important. The whole falling to the ground part. I just... <laughs> I love how you can just blow the enemies out. That's great. 
Alright, bounce. No! I was trying to bounce, but I could not bounce. Bouncing was not in my favor this time around, unfortunately. Oh well. Come along, my peonies. Having a good time, you having a good time? Oh, shit. I've fallen. Fallen and I cannot get up. I can get up, though, by using this pipe that I've so procured for myself. Easily. Okay. Patience. Patience. Bounce. Bounce is good. Bounce is good. Now, I know that you see that I'm giving you the stomp treatment, but I think you'll be happy to know that I've got this Gale Force here. Nice. Oh, it didn't work! Wow. That's so unfortunate. I guess maybe I gotta multi-bounce on them first. Well, I tried my best there. Oh dear. Don't be- don't do that thing. Nope, I was trying to avoid it. Try it. Mm. All right, well, at least I got one. That's confidence. All right, everybody. Uh, I need more flower power. Honestly, let's just... Let's quake them. I love using the quake ability. Earth Tremor is... I love Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor is one of, uh, probably one of my favorite abilities. Also, because usually I'm pretty good at it. I know I technically haven't done it successfully all the way to the end a single time during this stream. That's because I'm distracted. Y'all leave people some, uh, distract me. I did it. It just takes a little bit of confidence. Nice. I knew I'd be able to get it at least once. I'm glad I was able to do so. And we got a level up too. So I think what I want to do... I don't have many badges to assign badge points to. Uh, I honestly think I'll go for HP. HP. HP feels like the way to go. I fall into the ground a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, give me them coins. Coins. Give me them coins. Give me the coins. Might as well save. Now's the right time to save, I think. Continuing to drink the rest of my cocktails here. I will say, the Falernum one. I just finished that one. Very good. Very good. And I'm a big fan of it. I'm a large industrial fan of the Falernum banana spiced rum martini. Compliments of the Disney, the Disney book. Which I don't know if I'll ever get back in. There's actually three. In that book, there is only three cocktail recipes. And there's one that's coffee-based... There's one that was the one that we just made, which was the uh, banana spiced rum martini one. And there was another one, too, that I can't quite recall what was in it. All right. Here we go. Recommendation. Recommendation. I have recommendations. Flarenum is a good spirit. I would recommend that. I would definitely... It, IT involves going to Jamaica, though. Jamaica? Jamaica me crazy. IT... It, it, oh, it involves going to Jamaica. Well, maybe one day I'll go to Jamaica. I know I have a lot of flight points, and although, to be perfectly honest, I don't think any of the points that I've collected with my flight credit card is going to get me to Jamaica, I'd love to go one day. Can you guys kill these guys? C can you guys be a little bit faster with this? You got it. You just you just do your thing. You got him. Yeah, kick this guy's butt. There we go. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Kill him. Well, we beat them. We get to every last jabby here! Now let's destroy the jabby hive fortress! Go get him, y'all. Curi curiously, what involves going to Jamaica? Is it perhaps a is it perhaps a cocktail spirit? Is it a place to go? Is it a bar, perhaps? I know you can get really nice rums in Jamaica. They have a brand called Ed Sangsters. They have a banana cream rum that's to die for. Ooh. Yo, I gotta write that down. I gotta write that down. That's a really good recommendation. I know I actually have um, I actually have a friend of mine who um, who goes down to Jamaica for family every once in a while, and I, I request bottles from them. It's uh, it's nice. Uh, they're uh, it's Don Q brand. Don Q brand is the rum. Called who the fuck, who the fuck is Ed? Call call Ed. Call Ed. You gotta call Ed. Ed's the one who knows. Jamaican rum, and it's called. 
It's called Banana Cream. It's, it's Ed Sangsters. Oh, it's called Sangsters. Sangsters, not Ed Sangsters. Sangsters. Good evening. How's your stream going? I would say overall, overall, I think the stream has been going absolutely swimmingly so far. We've made quite a bit of progress. I have cocktails from the earlier segment, um, and I think we're gonna get a crystal star today. And if we can get a crystal star. That's progress if I've ever seen it. Overall, stream good. How about your stream? How has your stream been? Maybe you weren't the one streaming, but your experience of this stream so far, or perhaps you've been to other streams, Mr. B, how has it been? Good? Maso menos? Little bit of a tween? That's okay. Not everything can be perfect. I just rolled in. Perfect! That's all according to plan. The plan is for people to roll in. So the fact that you've rolled in is all according to plan. Everything else from here is totally, totally willy-nilly. The only thing planned is whatever the game has in store for us, which is, um, I suppose more plot development, character development. I'm sure we'll be able to be, we'll be able to see the innermost personalities of the characters featured here. Um, definitely by not thrusting ourselves onto a piranha plant. Otherwise, that'd be, that'd be not a very good idea. Hey, yo. Oh, I didn't guard that one. Oh, shucks. How do you feel about this? Oh, maybe I should have used my power hammer. I should have. Because I can't bounce on you. You know, I can do, though. Hold myself up tight. Nice. The plan is to get a crystal star. By the end of this, we should have at least another crystal star. Um, that or 1130 will come around. And we'll end things there instead. If it's 11.30 for me, that is. I don't know what time zone y'all are in. But um, that's that's a possibility. It's a possibility that we're all in the same time zone. In which case, yo, holla at my Eastern Standard Time, peeps. Oh. Was there an enemy there? Oh! Piranha plants. Um, yeah. What's up, Coops? Yeah, you're the, you're the guy I'm looking for. Use your power shell. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we're going for. Okay, I should dodge all of these. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if we were in the same time zone. Well, it's all possible. Well, I guess it depends. What time is it for you right now? If you're willing to share. Because for me, it is 11.05 p.m. That's the time for me. It is 11.05 p.m. That's my Eastern Standard Time, folks. Eastern Coast. I appreciate that. Um, I will not be in any other time zones anytime soon, so assume Eastern. Eastern Standard? I guess Eastern Daylight, I suppose. I guess that's kind of where we're at right now. Eastern Daylight? I don't really know. I'm supposed to be the time zone master at work because we have, we have customers that are in multiple different time zones, so anytime that they send things to our system, I need to be able to determine what time zone they're in if things come across weirdly. I'm the time zone master, but your side of Philly and my side of Philly may be different. There is no way that Philadelphia has two time zones. Does it really? There's no way. There is no way. Although, honestly, I'm unsure. I'm pretty sure all of New Jersey and maybe all of Pennsylvania are in the same time zone if I'm familiar. But if there are two different time zones in Philly, I don't know. That'd be pretty interesting, though. That'd be crazy. I wonder if there's like a particular area of Philly that's in a different time zone, because that seems wild to me. Okay, so I gotta put the puny orb on there. I can't do anything with this little dingy down there. Not just yet. All right, if I go through here, perhaps I'll be able to find a new ability, perhaps. Uh, oh, that's another little thing there. Oh, uh... Oh, that seems like it's fake. That one's got a little heart on it. It looks like it's crudely drawn. It's a trap. Probably no libs. Yeah, that's definitely untrue. All of Pennsylvania is Eastern Standard Time. I trust the word of the people. I, tr I trust Mr. B on that. To my knowledge, well, at least in my experience, I have not been anywhere in Pennsylvania that abides by any other time zone than EST. But I suppose you may be a person. Maybe your particular household wants to abide by a different particular time zone. Maybe you have family in Italy and you want to abide by whatever Italy's time zone is. That's fair. 
You can do that if you want to. You might get a little confused, I think, um, when you talk to most people in the area when they say it's clearly 11.08 p.m., but uh, one never knows, honestly. All right, prepare for bad things to happen. Ah! Oh! Who knew? It's a cage. Ah! Uh, huh, what? What just happened? <laughs> Sup, folks? Man, you guys are dense, brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy, you know? <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb, it hurts. I am physically in pain right now. Somebody get me my medication. Ugh. Anyway, you fools, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting for the crystal star. Ah, it's just easy straight from here. <laughs> uh, peace out, gents. Respectfully yours, Magnus. Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? A little trick called pushing through the bars. Do something before claustrophobia sets in. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. I, I did. I escaped. The only thing. Oh, morbid llama says. Oh, you're go down the pipe, please, Mario. Thank you. The only thing on the right hand that touches water on the right side of the country that has multiple time zones is Florida. Florida has multiple time zones. That's pretty cool. Wait, you see those? I'm pretty sure I've seen columns like those before. Oh, yeah, 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 wait, let me go to my phone. I have a picture of this. There's a picture of the code to this in Professor Frankly's lab, and I have to go back far enough in my history to find it. So let's, let's scroll through my photos. There are many photos on here. Where are you, Paper Mario? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, goodness. <laughs> my body. I got the hiccups, man. Got them hiccups. Hmm. Where are you? I know I have a picture of this in my phone somewhere. Or at least I thought I did. I'm scrolling through. The panhandle is central. The panhandle is central. Really? I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The panhandle to the side of Florida is central time. Wow. Look at that. I honestly didn't realize. That is news to me. I didn't realize that Florida had multiple time zones. I don't think I've ever actually been in the panhandle. I've never been that far north. And east. West. Not east. And west at the same time. That's new. That's cool and exciting. I am still attempting to search through my phone to find the code for the Paper Mario thing. I know I took a photo of it. And I'm trying to find out where it was. I have a picture of Pop-Tarts. Ego Pop-Tarts. I see devices from work. I see the graduation. I see more cocktail stuff. I see pictures of trackers. But I don't see a picture of the puny thing. Did I go back far enough? Wow, this is what I get. Honestly, it'd be quicker for me just to look it up. But I have faith in myself. I thought I took a picture of that. I want to be legit about this. I know I took a picture of this thing. Where is you? Where are you at? Wow, maybe I accidentally deleted it. That'd be a shame. I'm going to get one more look. And then I'm gonna just straight up look it up. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. I genuinely don't see it. That's incredible. That's super weird. I thought. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I found it. I found it. There it is. There's the picture. I can prove it. I took a picture of it. This is the proof. The proof is in the pudding. It is Star Moon Puny Star. I'm sorry. Sun, moon, puny star. Sun, moon, puny star. Oh. It's already there. Huh? Huh? Whoa, whoa. The tree is shook. What was it? An earthquake? Oh, it was already in the correct orientation. I thought I had to switch them around. This is the hint, not the puzzle. Oh. Whoops. 
Oh, okay. I, I am I am a silly lad indeed. I for some reason thought that was the puzzle. I am that is not right. Oh, a star piece. Convenient. The puzzle must be somewhere up here, right? Not not here specifically, but there was another area that I could go to. I know that for a fact. Alright, but where were you at? You were all around this tree. All around that tree, having a good time. Just got cocktail down my face. It happens. Honestly, every once in a while, I have a drinking problem. The problem being, I can't get the drink in my mouth sometimes. All right, if I go down or up, is it up? It's up. I think it's up. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't up. I have to go down. No, I didn't want to fight you. I didn't want to do this. I want to run away. I'm not a fan of this right now. I'm not into it. Shall we run? And I run, 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 run away. And I fail. That's okay. Um, let's try to run away again. Where did they say the crystal star was? Bottom of the tree. Bottom of the tree. I gotta go down. I gotta go down. I realize that now. I am, I'm the silly boy here. I know they said bottom of the tree. I know I've been giving context clues to be able to figure out the puzzle. But I'm a little silly sometimes. So if I go down, I found exactly where I need to be. And exactly where I need to be is not in that direction. This was the store, wasn't it? That was the store. I should heal myself. Should I heal myself? Do I need to? Do I need to heal myself? I don't think I do. Ah, uh, Mario's looking a little dry. Glad that I was able to pick up on what you were trying to say. Oh, I, re I remember. I may be a bit dense. But I'm not entirely not paying attention is definitely the proper grammar for that sentence. Let's do a pop a little save here. And we'll continue onwards. I know, I really think that I can get the crystal star tonight. I have full faith in myself. Okay. Uh, I might have been in this direction. I think this was the way I needed to go to find that little, little puzzle thing. Right? Statues? Fancy statues? Fancy statues. All right. All righty then. It has to be... What's the combo? Pull it back up on my phone. Sun. Moon. Puny. Star. Sun. Moon. Puny. Star! We got it. We did it. Congrats, everybody. We solved the puzzle. <laughs> Congrats, everybody. We solved the hint, not the puzzle. But we also solved the puzzle because of the hint. So good for us. Big old giant treasure chest contains... The Super Boots! Hey there, I'm Toadette! Congratulations on getting the Super Boots! These cool kicks power up jump attacks! I'm not trying to do a Toad voice here. It's just ain't working out well for me. You know what? No. We're gonna keep going with it. And you'll be able to use new technique! So let's practice it, okay? If you prefer press A at the right moment once jumping, you'll do a spin jump! Timing is everything! Press A and, and mid jump. A jump. Spin jump. Wow, that was perfect! You're a natural! Wanna try again? No, please. Okay, that's just super! Looks like you've mastered the spin jump! Peace out, dude! Oh. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump! But you can go figure that out on your own. That's it! You got it! You can use the spin jump in battle too! Give it a try! Well, hope to see you again soon! Good luck on your adventure! I don't like that voice. I don't like doing a toad voice. No bueno. Not a fan. Well, time to go break things apart while I still can. Ha! <laughs> break! Practice. Practice makes perfect. Hey, look at that. Shine Sprite, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anything in the bushes down here? Nothing in the bushes, it seems. Unless this bush over here has got something for me. 
Thank you very much. Oh, a badge. I should have stayed up on top. Well, let's go get that. Let's go get that badge then. Coops will be able to help me out with this one. Isn't that right, Coops? Yeah. Oh. But only if I jump onto the right location. But otherwise, that'd just be sad. All right, carefully, carefully, jump onto the platform. Not a fan. Maybe this time I'll be careful enough. Slowly, 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 inch, inch in. Thank you. Go get him. Got the charge badge. Add charge to your tactics menu. Cool. I like that. What does that do? How do I add to I only need one? Charge. Add charge to the tech. Oh, wait. Moves requires one FP. Wearing two or more of these badges requires more FP, but increases the charge power. Charge! I don't think I ever actually used the charge in any of my previous playthroughs of this game. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Like when I was younger. I definitely haven't played this game recently. But now that I got the break ground ability, I'll be able to get through the tree. I just gotta free my little peony boys. And that'll be that. And I think I can find them by going over to the jabbies, right? Was that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta go to the jabbies on the left-hand side. Otherwise, I will be lost. But now I am found. So welcome. Welcome, lost who may not be found. If you are found today, congratulations. If you are still lost, that's okay. We all have our, our paths in life. I, for one, am on a path of self-realization, I think? I think I've been doing a lot of introspection recently. That's that's kind of what I've been into. Trying to just look deeply. Figure out what I'm all about. I don't know what I'm all about. I think what I'm all about is just putting smiles on people's faces and trying to live a stress-free life, but that's not the life that I live currently. But, you know, we're just, it's a stepping stone. We'll get there eventually, I hope. All right, I'll take these puny... Enough about that. Puny orb. Break, break ground. You did it! Yes, yes! Now we can get out of here! Let's go. And now I hit the hint in the game. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Everybody, come on down. Oh, everybody's stuck inside. I have to blow you into the pit, I guess, right? Yeah. I'm gonna blow you into the pit. Alright, come along there, Flurry. I need you, Flurry. Flurry. Blow everyone into the pit. Come on, everybody. You, get, you got it. You gotta want it. Into the pit. Every single puny. Every single puny has to fall. Everybody falls eventually. Oh, maybe I should put the orb in there. Yeah, that's that's the point there. You put the punies in the... Yeah, that, that's how you do it. Oh, come on now, guys. Guys. Would you like to Would you like to work with me? You, even even you, punidi punidio. Ha! Huh, you are me, Humph! Unbelievable! You got fooled by a painfully obvious trap! Yeah, you got fooled too. What are you talking about? You you also fell for this trap, you dummy! You can't just blame me for this. Come on, bro. All right, into the hole. Into the hole. Into the hole, please. You, you, you. Get into the hole. Get into the hole. Do you get in the hole too? Get, get, get in the. Get, get in the. Get in the hole. All right. Uh, follow me into the hole. Follow me into the hole. All right. Well, we're. We're almost there. Come on, there's there's one more. There's one more. There's two more dudes. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. All right. Puny orb. There we go. Get on in there. And let's get them all. Bro. Bro. Get in the hole. Bro. Get in the hole. Why wouldn't you fall to the... Respect gravity, for God's sake. Get in the hole. No, no, no. Not you. Wait, are you inside now? No, you shouldn't be inside. You, buddy. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. All right, if I take the orb out, put you back in again. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. What if I blow you from this angle? Come on, come on, you got it. You got, you got it, dude. I, I believe in you. In. Right in the hole. Just like that. No. Okay. What if I... Alright, where, where are you now? Where are you? I do not see you anywhere. 
Are you still in the cage, actually? Come along. Come along, everybody. Everybody, everybody, everywhere. Follow me. Around the corner. The people who are stuck in spot, you will stay. You, right there. I see you standing right there. I don't know. Do I need Do I need everybody? Do I really need everybody? I kind of am a whole, like, no puny left behind kind of guy. But I'm, I'm inclined to think that this might just be a fruitless effort. All right. You stand there. Blow. In the hole. Yes! Oh, that's wonderful little puny not stupid at all fell into the hole thank you for abiding by the laws of nature gravity and physics we very much appreciate that we've saved everybody now everybody come along what do you no don't no join the group you could stay in there Put putitio or whatever your name is Puty puty booty booty the puty booty <laughs> To be fair, that puny has the biggest booty of them all. I'm not gonna lie. She's got a big old booty. What you gonna do with a big fat puny? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Actually, I, or you just leave him to be. I don't know. I don't know where he is now, so he's, he's just kind of gone. All right, blow in the hole. Blow in the hole. In the hole? In the hole. Thank you. Oh, there's another dude over here. Come on. Come along now. Blow in the hole. In the hole. In the hole. Thank you. All right, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Put it up. No, 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 no! Don't fall down! Don't fall down! No, do not follow me! Do not follow me! I see two punies there, the two biggies. Put the puny over there and blow them down. It's all about blowing your punies. That's what it's all about. Blow your little tiny friends. If you got little tiny friends, make sure to blow them off the edge. Gravity will take over from there. It's that simple. One puff of your lungs and that's it that's how we play this game all right no 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 enemies no oh i tried to use my hammer but i blew instead Ugh. give me give me give me cubes give me cubes give me give me the cubes we're gonna hit all these guys on the ground that's how that's how we're gonna take them out nope don't like it no, oh. we're gonna do it again. I couldn't dodge. I couldn't dodge again. Oh, and now you got your thingy on you. Let's use the power of multi bounce. Spin jump, attack by first stomping, then spin jumping. No, that's fine. Multi bounce. Excellent. And I think I have a more powerful bounce now, so that's pretty cool. Um, you should probably swap out with. Let's do Goombella. You're cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I didn't avoid that either. Incredible. All right, why don't you tattle on that little guy over there? The mini yucks. That's a mini yucks. A creature made to protect the yucks. It can split into two. Max HP, one, zero, zero. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They're in pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry's pretty effective. Oh, Flurry. Ooh. That's a pretty good idea. I didn't even realize that. Well, normal jump. I don't even need to do that, honestly. You're gonna summon another one, right? Oh my gosh. Alright, Goombella. Goombella, you know what you have to do. Actually, Mario, you know what you have to do. You have to jump a little yucks there so that Goombella can do the tattle ability so then we can find out about the enemy and then we'll become smarter. That's what it's all about. It's all about becoming smarter, becoming a little more wrinkled up in the top area. Well, that's a yucks. Says here it's a creature created in the x Not Labs. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, defense is 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has a mini yucks around it. So, if any mini yucks appear, take those out first. Duh! Duh! It's basic first grade. It's first grade, SpongeBob. Alright. Now Goobella can do that tap. Oh, nice! Wow, that is a lot of bundle there. Anna, Anna has been combing the Princess Peach wig. And, oh my god, can you take that mat out of the garbage? That was incredible. What a, what a mat. Oh, actually, we're putting the Princess Peach hat back on my head. Hi there, I'm Princess Peach now. 
It looks great. It looks beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, here's um. Oh my goodness. Look at this giant ass mat that Anna pulled off of the wig. This is literally all just extra wig hair. The back. I feel so lighter. bad. I feel so bad throwing this out because I know textile waste is like the worst kind of waste in the world. But it's there's really no way. Yeah. It's a polyplastic. There's really no way for us to like recycle it or anything like that. No, they won't even take it. They they won't take it. I mean, yeah, they definitely won't take like wig stuff. That is so unfortunate, but that's just that's just the reality of the world. Could you donate? Actually, wait, haven't you looked at Fab Scrap? Yeah, but they, will they take wig wig textiles? No, they take regular. Oh, okay. Fabric. They take that's unfortunate. Textiles. Well, now I've got long, flowy blonde hair. At least, at least I want to tell myself that well, I do. Well, the back of the wig is still pretty knotted, and the sides are like tangled, but they're not knotted anymore. Well, that's okay. It's okay to be tangled. A it's bit. like in oh. the back is where it's really bad. But I don't have enough patience to keep like tearing at it. I and need to heal. I think I might be able to actually save that wig. Oh, I'm gonna me. have to recurl it. Yeah, this could definitely use a little bit of work too. It's very fluffy, unless we want it to be fluffy, in which case it's great. But it is very, very, very fluffy. Ever do with that? Very, very fluffy out there. Oh, got myself a sad mushroom, but not anymore. Now I got the good mushrooms. And the motorcyclists outside, say hello to your local uh, riders, I guess. All right, Flurry, come on out there, bud. Okay, heal, block, nice dodge. And then, and again, not uh, not a nice dodge, not at all. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dodge, yes, epic. Oh, so many yuxes. Um, here, they said Flurry was pretty good, so let's use the Gale Force. I was close. Nice. All of them are going away. All right, Cameron's gonna try to put his. Would you like to take this wig back? Oh, do you want it gone? Get it out of here. I need my regular hair back so I can put my headphones back on. Oh, I thought you were just gonna keep the wig. No, never. I, I would never keep wig. Nice, I oh, I have so much blonde. Oh, give me that. On yeah, me. it's still shedding. Oh, the I wig is shedding. It's all yet. over me. Absolutely it's crazy. I'm gonna use Thunder Ridge. I'm gonna kill these guys with the power of thunder. I just don't want to deal with them right now. Give me all of your experience for absolutely none of the effort. Six star points. Nice. All right. Any items? Items in the bushes? You got me searching in the bushes, baby. That's all I have got. Whoa, oh, uh oh. Wow, I literally have a wig all over me. Okay, well, I'm definitely not getting across that water. Right? Definitely not. Can I use coops to get across there? I could probably use coops. Let's do a little bit of coops. Can we get him? Nah, won't work. All right, back into the hole. Come along down here. I see a couple of little lotus pads. Oh, they'll fill up with the water. I remember the trick here. I have to bounce across. I have to bounce across without the peonies. I definitely can't take these guys with me just yet. I might be able to... Nah, that doesn't work there. Do I go... Oh, I didn't want to go down yet, I don't think. I think I wanted to go up. We'll see. Okay. Okay. I need to bring the 100 punies down there so I can get the crystal star. But I need to go up first in order to get these guys over here. It's all a puzzle. That's what it all is. It's all about puzzle time. Oh yeah, if I hit the switch, then everybody will be drowned out. Oh. Well, what if I... Oh, there we go. Got it. You just gotta use Koops' ability. Honestly, I, I love... Koops, I think, is my favorite partner character in this game. I just like... I, li I like his personality. He's a little snivelly. He strikes me as a little bit nerdy. Reminds me a lot of myself, honestly. Um, he's, a, he's a cool guy. I like him. All right. And a little chest down here. Look at that. Shrink Snob. I am gonna try to equip that if I can. I cannot. I need one. Let's take charge off and put on Shrink Snob. I like to have more ability. I, I I love the idea of having a bunch of abilities. That's 
That's what I like about these games. It's to have the choice of whatever attack pattern you want to find the perfect, the perfect occasion to use any particular one. All right, everybody follow me. Everybody follow me. Jump on this talent uh, thing. Uh, yes, bump. Nice. All right, we do have everybody. So let's go down. I think we're very, very close to the crystal star. And if we are, excellent. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Shake a shaker? Nope. Shake a shaker? Nope. Shake a shaker? Why did I expect anything different? All right, everybody. Ah, what's... Oh, no! What's happening? It seems that we are descending into the depths of the tree, where the crystal star may be found. Right? I see a save point and a heal spot. Seems advantageous. So that's how you get into this room. I never knew! Me personally have never known at all. Yeah, it's worth a heal. You know, recently I found out there's a website that you can go to. Uh, I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I think it's KH Insider, maybe? Where you can download entire soundtracks to uh, video games. I recently downloaded the entire soundtrack to Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door. Because I like this game, and the music is very catchy. Boggly Woods, it's like a perpetual bop. You can just keep on running for it. It's great. It's nice for bike rides. Boggly Woods theme, good for bike rides. Hmm, let me see. That thing's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear it out. Zoo! Better get out of here. Hey, it's me. We're here. Use the power of the punies. I need everybody. You placed the puny orb. I indeed did. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. And then lightning strikes. And all is lost. Hey, it's the crystal star. It easy peasy, right? Right? Totally. Totally. Mario, look. Look, look, look. It's the crystal star. <laughs> Not anymore, yoink, <laughs> bitch. What? Did did he just... Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, little crump? Boom, brawls right into my lap. So this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. <laughs> well... So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what this is? You know what it is? <laughs> oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. Click. So run. <laughs> I'm gonna use this to bury you and those squirmy punies in rubble. Sound fun? <laughs> well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dang old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Oh no, 300 seconds to run away. Did he just say, Eek, oh, hu hurry, we have to get the heck out of here. Quick, everybody. I removed a pony orb. Come along there, my chocolate comrades. Not really. Y'all are very much white chocolate, I suppose. Or whatever gray chocolate is. Gray chocolate? Not quite dark, not quite otherwise either. Shake a shake of the bushes. Oof, I've been ambushed. All right, escape -oo, everybody. It's escape -oo time. Time to kill these X-Nauts before they can use that tiny little shroom on me. Stylish. All right, and uh, I guess I'll multi, multi bounce you guys because I think that'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> Out of here. Dunzo. Nice. Alright, continuing on our journey to this tiny little battle royale. Anything in the little, uh, in the bushes? There is nothing in the bushes. A star piece. Excellent. Glad I found that. Click. Enter. Proceed. On to that direction. More bushes? Bush. 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 Oh, George W. Bush. The other bush. All bush. Bush, bush all the time. Bush, 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 bush. Bush. Save point. Save point, bush. It's all about shaking them bushes. You never know what you might find. Bushes sometimes have badges, sometimes they have items, sometimes they have everything in between. 
Let's proceed. Up. Go upwards. That's where I need to go now. Oh, not you guys. Nope, I don't like you. Come along. Come along. Don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Can I break this? Or can I flurry this? I just noticed. Can I flurry this thing away? I don't remember whether or not I can flurry this thing away yet. I'm gonna try it. Oh, yo. I did not realize that I could do that. Now, I know we're kind of running out of time, but I want to do it anyway. Oh my god, look at that. I did not- I, I completely forgot you could do that. Alright, it's okay. This place won't explode. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. I'll grab all my peonies first. But first, I gotta grab this, you know, so this shine sprite. Nice! Why waste time attempting to conserve time when you can just dick off, I guess. You can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. I can do whatever I want. The world is my oyster. And to everyone out there, make sure your oysters are properly cleansed. Otherwise, you know, you might have some leftover, like, you know, excre excretions. I've had like, I've had like meals before, like mussels, mussels and clams and other sea critters were like, technically speaking, like, they weren't like, all right, long story short, they didn't use the bathroom before they were eaten by me or cooked up. So there was a little bit of like, waste left behind. And like, honestly, it doesn't affect the taste too much, but it is a little disturbing. It's a little, it, it, it skews me out just the tightest, the, the slightest bit. All right, everybody, time to escape and to fight this big old grapple dude. He's on the- he's waiting on the other side. I know he is. I have full faith that he is. Uh, do we want to heal? I guess. I could spend eight for a heal. And then a little save point? Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's beat this asshole. Right now. You won't be getting any farther th You won't be getting farther this way. What? Are you nuts? Moving you old geezer? What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Why do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat! Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might! Even if it kills me, I won't let you through! I'm ready! Elder power activates! Whoa! What's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Oh! Oh! What the? Ouch! Oh! Can't take another step! Oh! What a time for my stupid back to start acting up! Oh! You hot-headed old coot! You dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you! Ahem! You'll do no such thing! Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? I do believe you'll be handing over that crystal star and probably exiting this tree. <laughs> you guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I'd better shut off this timer. Click. Okay, you pests! One pummeling coming right up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Click. It's a tiny capsule. Here I go in my tiny little origami ship of doom. Awake, Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. Or I got my powers activate. Wa pa 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 pa. And that's that's the guy. All right, let's kick this guy. Are you crying yet? Yeah. Sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. <laughs> just just lubricant. Lots and lots of lubricant. Mechanical parts get stuck if you don't lubricate them. You know. Well, Magnus von Gravel has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. Are you crying yet? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power of this bad boy. Mercy me, that metal colossus is incredible. Hmm. And yet, there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. I cannot flee. <laughs> Why would I want to? Hammer time! And... Power whack, power whack, power whack. Stylish. Absolutely beautiful. 
Um, I guess we'll... Um, I feel like I actually want to switch out my... Um, let's swap for... Coops. I'll go with Coops on this guy. Here I come, suckers! Magnus Vaughn! Punish! Uh, yeah, hey, it's, it's, it's too damage. It's, it's not really a problem, to be perfectly honest. Hammer time. And... Stylish, 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 stylish. Absolutely stylish. Oh, of course something's gonna drop on me at the very last moment. I put on such a good performance that I literally brought the house down. Literally. Anyway, power shell. Use all the powerful techniques that I've got. Hopefully to gain the audience's appeal, too. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? The uh, me, of course. Now I think it's time for a little Earth Tremor. I'm gonna whack your body right off the ground. Dealing ultimate maximum damage at the speed of sound. And by speed of sound, I mean in rhythm with the time of the thing. That's that's how we'll do it. Yeah, we'll try to keep rhythm here. I don't know. My mother made me pick the very best one, and it is absolutely you. It is. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a target by the toe. If he howls, let him go. It's just how it'll be. Man, six damage. Wow. We really... Really did a number on this guy. Oh, wow, pow, pow. Two more damage. Excellent. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Pow, pow, pow. I got arms now. I'm gonna just appeal. I want to be able to use my ability. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, do it again. Yeah, that, that's appealing. Just appeal. Honestly, I think my ground pound is gonna help here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of... Oh, my God, that's a lot of... Holy shit! I did not realize how bad that was gonna be. Wow. Alrighty, then. Um... Okay, then. Let's, um... Let's multi-bounce. Okay. Well, that at least got rid of them. I should not have left them standing. Very sad. We did not get the jackpot. All right, well, Mario's in need of a heal. Lucky! Lucky! Oh, I can't... Uh, I'm gonna have to heal myself with a shroom. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm running a little low on funds over here. Ow, I just whacked my hand against my desk. That's unfortunate. And you're back! And the arms are back! For a... With a vengeance! It's just how it has to be. Uh, multi-bounce... Nice. Am I gonna get you yet? Dude, Coops, can you get up? We're in a bit of a predicament here, my guy. Ouch. Unfortunate. Alright, let's use... I don't have enough flower points for that. Um... Let's do Sweet Treat. Let's get ourselves some flower... Actually, I don't... Um, yeah. Gradual Serp makes allies recover FP gradually for a brief period. I like that. Yeah. Gradually recover FP. I like that. I like that idea. It's a very good idea. Alright, whack me. Whack me, grapple. Okay, that's that's fine. This is acceptable. And Coops will get up, right? No, he will not get up. Alrighty then. What would be the best thing that I could possibly do? Power bounce, maybe. Alright, that was pretty good. Gah! Not good. Can't last. Oh, we're getting close to the end, I think. Ouch. All right, well, at least everybody's back up again. I don't have any good abilities left. Oh, but I do have some of that. FP up continues to go for three turns. Or eight turns. I like that. I can do my power smash, which should give me some style points to be able to use Sweet Treat if I need it. All right, then. All right, do, the, do your thing. Do your thing, my guy. Use your shell toss and kick this guy in the butt cheeks. Butt cheek powers activate. All right, well, it wasn't exactly the best, but at least we got we got those things on. And I can use the sweet treat, which is incredibly advantageous at a time right now. Not the sweet treat. Earth Tremor to kill everything all at once. Everything everywhere all at once. Dying. Perishing. Absolutely being eviscerated. 
I'm gonna concentrate on this one. This one's important. This is an important one. Must focus. Must focus. Focus, 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 focus. Focus is key. And now everybody dead, right? Grapple is dead. Magnus is dead. This could be the end. Bye bye. It's it's the end. I hats off, bow. You're done. You're done, so my god. It's all over now. It is all over now. No! Magnus von Grapple! How could we lose? I'll remember this, losers. I'm out of here. Lord Crab summons us! Here we go! Retreat! Heads up! Run away! Wait up! Oof! My face has imploded. We pulled it off, Mario! I can't believe it! Wow! They're gone! This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember! Alright there, Mario! You can have the Emerald Star! The Crystal Star that resided in this tree! It's mine now. Mine. Nobody else's. You got a crystal star. And you learned the special move, Clock Out. Yet another chapter completed in this beautiful paper journey. End of chapter! Nice. Claps to everyone involved. And so, after pummeling more Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Bogley Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. I will absolutely save all game progress up to this point. And things are very late. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to end things for now and we'll continue with the rest of the whole cutscenes thing next time on another excellent episode of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door in about two weeks from now when we switch back onto it. Next week will be Hollow Knight, as per the usual. Um, we'll skip this cutscene for now. We'll go back to it. We're going to the end screen. Here we go. End screen time. Here we go. It's the end screen. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the end screen. Y'all get to listen to the sounds of space in the background. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for coming along. This is a little longer one as usual, but honestly, I think it was a joy nonetheless. We got another crystal star. It's the emerald one, and emerald is a beautiful, beautiful color. Now, I think this emerald star is a little bit darker than emeralds that I'm used to. A lot of emeralds are more like a, more like a, like a present green, a lot more lighter than that, but alas, semantics aside... This is where we are. I will see y'all for another episode of Paper Mario in about two weeks from now, live on Twitch. As you may already know, we do these things every Wednesday with cocktails and stuff. And in any case, if you enjoyed the show, cool. I'm glad about that. If you didn't enjoy the show, I'm open to criticism, always. You feel free to drop me a DM if you want to. You don't need to. There's no pressure there. But alas, hope your night continues well. If it's the night where you are, if it's the morning where you are, may the sun shine brightly. And if not, dawn, twilight, evening, whatever it may be. May it be a wonderful one for y'all. Until next time, everybody, we hats off, party hats off. Until next time, party on y'all. Until then, bye. <laughs>